can choose what fits. An aerial view of Charlottesville, Virginia, established of 1762. Let's take a look at our Toyota keys to the game. They've got to shut down number 37. I'm talking about the Miami Hurricanes. Make no mistake about it. That is the heartbeat of the Cavaliers offense. And of course, Virginia must avoid that one play disaster that Miami, so young and so quick, is capable of. Well, they thrive off of it, and you just don't want to beat yourself if you're the Cavaliers. Randy Shannon in his second year as head coach of the Miami Hurricanes at 10 and 10. He's got his team cooking right now at three straight wins, including a big win last week against Wake Forest across the way. Al Grove, what a turnaround for the Cavaliers. Left for dead at one and three at the end of September. They have been outstanding in October. What will November hold for the Hoos? And there is Chase Minifield who will receive the opening kickoff. And uh, Miami won the toss but deferred their option to the second half. So we'll see the Cavaliers on offense first driving into and there's a pretty tough sun around the new now. Matt Foster puts foot to leather as they say. And Minifield has it at the 12. Here comes oh. the first and a fumble. Miami falls on it, or rather Florida, uh, Virginia falls on it on the 11-yard line. And coming up with it, Brown with the hit. And coming up with the ball is going to be Eric Thornton. And let's take a look at the offense now for Virginia. Kevin Ogletree, their leading receiver. Ogletree coming out with 29 catches this year. Cedric Pierman, their leading running back. Rashawn Jackson, Maurice Covington, and John Phillips. The offensive line anchored by Eugene Monroe over there on the left side. Uh, wrong Biggin. side, a true freshman. Awesome. Yeah, he is. First and 10 from the 11, actually 12-yard line. Covington in motion. Verica rolls right to pass. The short pass through the tight end for a loss of yardage. And he's brought down to the eight yard line. Romeo Davis on the tackle. And there's Mark Barrett, the sophomore quarterback, thrust into the spotlight after Jermaine Sewell was declared ineligible on academics and Peter Lalich left school. Barrett is a sophomore from Lansdowne, Pennsylvania. 270 yards for him last week, two touchdowns, but he threw two picks against a very good Georgia Tech defense. Second and 13 after the loss of three on the first completion of the day. Coke in motion, handoff Pierman, threads his way up the left side and gets back to the 10 yard line. It's a gain of about three, and Wesley and Spence in on the tackle. Here's Dwayne Hendricks. Hendricks, the leading tackler among the down linemen with 18, Joseph Wesley and Ajomo, who's been outstanding in pass pressure situations. And the linebackers, Glenn Cook, he's been there forever with Daryl Sharpton and true freshman Sean Spence. In the backfield, Anthony Riddick is a senior guy. Uh, he's from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with Grant Johnson and Ryan Hill. It'll be third and 11 on the gain of two. First third down conversion of the day for the Cavaliers, who have been slow starters this year. East Carolina get up 10 0 on them. Pass to the flats, it is complete. And good enough for the first down, the completion to Kerry Coke. Fifth year senior out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. To set the spot. It's going to be very close to the first down. Well, it all started with Eugene Monroe being able to get that backside protection. Nice throw and catch. The question is, did he get the yardage? And it's going to be close enough for Ron Cherry and his crew to bring the chains out here for the first time this afternoon. Yeah, Will Barker, I mean, this, ooh, it's going to come down to this offensive line. So the Hurricanes brought in fresh bodies and put on a lot of pressure. Coke looking at his 16th catch of the season, a fifth year senior and a transfer from Tulane. It's on the receiver. The receiver has to get the necessary yards. Yep, he does. Crowded as he may be by the defensive back. And it's going to be short. Short almost to the, almost a yard. Hunting unit is on for Virginia. This didn't start the way they wanted to. They no. had a little trickery on the opening kickoff. And, yeah. and they got themselves off schedule. But They've been resilient this year. Jimmy Howell, the true freshman out of Florence, South Carolina. One thing about the Cavaliers, I mean, they won't panic. And here's Travis Benjamin. A young man who is uh, one of the all-purpose yardage leaders in the ACC. Benjamin out of Bell Glades, Florida, true freshman. He was asked, how do I know when I'm faster than anybody else on the field and when I walk on it? <laughs> How's that for confidence? Yeah, I love that. Standing at his own seven, this is going to be Jimmy Howell on the punt. 
Setting up for the return. And Benjamin will get away from this. It take, oh, it hit him. It hit him. And Virginia may get it. He had the initial inclination to get away from the ball. He should have trusted it. A 49-yard punt. It touched Benjamin, and now it's going to be recovered by Virginia. And if you're going to get a little more catching. That's why the great ones, and I get a chance to work for it, Brian Mitchell, they always say, catch it. And they take all the mystery out of it. Paul Simmons on the recovery. And you know, from Benjamin's standpoint, he couldn't get away from it, just kept following it. Yeah, well, you got to catch it, feel it. First That's and huge. 10, Virginia, big break in Miami territory at the 32. And off Pierman, and they sealed off the left side. He cuts right. He gets inside the 20 down to the 17. Anthony Reddick, the sophomore from Fort Lauderdale. A 14-yard game. Got a flag. Got a flag down. Well, the polar bear was hibernating. The Canes may have woke him up. Ron Cherry. Once against Miami. Ron's been our official the last three weeks here. Uh, Personal foul, 51, defense. Half this to the goal, first down. So 14 yard gain and then half the distance to the goal. Well, let's see where this may have occurred. It certainly wasn't at the point of attack because that was a gash. And so let's see if anything late. Maybe a little extracurricular. Okay, right there. And this is the problem with youth. Youth and enthusiasm is super. But age and experience are the one thing to stabilize you through hard times. Let's find out what happened with the Cavaliers. Virginia now has it at the nine yard line. First and goal. Pierman settled in the backfield. Covington in motion. Here comes Pierman going right. Squares his shoulders and gets out at the six yard line. End of about three on the play. Driven out of bounds by Carlos Armour. Yeah, the thing about the Canes, man, it's hard to get around them. Armour recovered very, very well. It shows you that there is no substitute for speed. This is a quick, young club. They've recruited well. Randy Shannon has put some guys in there that can really fly toward the football and fly with it on offense. Second down and goal from the seven and a half. And uh, Pierman gets down to about the five, just beyond the six-yard line. Stephen Wesley has him by the ankles. Sophomore out of Bartow, Florida. Yeah. Came down the line real well. Okay. Again, we'll talk about you throughout the day, but it doesn't mean they can play. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they also are disciplined. I mean, they're not out there creating what they want. They're doing what coaches have instructed them to do. And the collisions will be a plenty. Randy Shannon anticipating passes. He's going to get... A linebacker, an extra linebacker in and take a D lineman out. Third and goal for the Cavaliers. Out of the shotgun, Verica. Surveys the field, has something toward the corner. He's looking for Phillips' his tight end. And it was overthrown. It brings the field goal unit on. Well, little, that, little that, sweets. Yep, big break. Yeah. Big break for Miami because they mishandled the punt. They gave Virginia the porch. Yep. And all they did was rock the chair on. Well, they rocked it a little bit. They didn't crash the door down. They had a horrible start. Could have put seven on the board. But you take what you can get in three. Because you know it's a long afternoon. Yannick Ryring will fly a 23-yarder. You see he's five out of eight. Former soccer star at Virginia. There's the kick. It's up. It's good. From the right hash mark, Virginia scores after, well, a little misfortune on the Canes' part. They don't get the punt. And that's going to be the Hurricanes coming back on offense and we come back in Charlottesville on a beautiful day for ACC football. Virginia up by a field goal. SK Menswear is the official wardrobe provider for our ACC football broadcast team. SK Menswear, what are you wearing? Here comes the kick after the field goal by Yannick Wiring. And we've got a whistle. And I called it off. He'll call for a fair catch. And then started running. Youth served once more. Yeah. And the 14 yard line. So two miscues on special teams in the kicking game has Randy Shannon somewhat concerned. And now he talks to Ryan Hill as he comes to the sideline. All right. 
Redshirt freshman Robert Marv steps behind the controls for the first time this afternoon. From Tampa, Florida, 6-1, 210 this year, seven touchdowns, nine interceptions, 54% on the field. Recover from uh, injuries suffered in an automobile accident. And he's back there, quarterback for Miami. First and ten, fake end around to Benjamin. Here comes Marv upstairs. Has a man out there. It is complete. Here on Collier. A true freshman from Miami. 43 yards on the hookup from Robert Marr. We talk about the youth, but highly talented. It started with protection. <clears throat> he had great protection in order to get it off. A little tap tattoo at the end. Welcome to Charlottesville. And then the fact that they're going after it. A little double pump and go. You got backside pose, good throw, great catch. That's the cage. Remember what I was saying, one play disaster? Yeah. This is a team with full yeah. of them. Blitz on, got picked up. Hand off now comes out to Greg Cooper. Oh. Let's take a look at that Miami offense. Now as you look at Cooper coming away, the sophomore out of Memphis, Tennessee. Travis Benjamin, all-purpose man, had 274 yards all-purpose against Florida State. Greg Cooper, Patrick Hill, Aldarius Johnson, and Diedrich Epps tight end. Up front, Jason Fox, who's caught a touchdown pass this season. Orlando Franklin, coach's son, Xavier Shannon, A.J. Trump, and Chris Rutledge up front for the Hurricanes. Game of four brings it second and six. That's James, a running back in motion. For Marv on first down, on second down. Here comes the, the pass to the flats is out to the beach, out to the uh, bench. That's symptom. Symptom saying, hello. Symptom with the pressure on that play. Let's take a look at Virginia's defense. Mark Conrad, midseason freshman, all freshman team, Nate Collins, and Alex Field up front. Clint Symptom with Copper, Childs, and Burrell. And in the back, walk on Byron Glasby with Dowling, Powell, and Mosley. Third down and six. No gain on the play. Obviously, the incomplete pass. Marv looks to the sideline for the call. They're at the Virginia 39-yard line. Cavaliers with a one-field goal lead early. Hand off Cooper. They sweep right. Cooper headed to the marker. Next tackled at the 35-yard line. A great tackle out there by Razai Dowling. Also Mosley and Dowling on the play. Strong play. And this when you have a guy like Simpson. He forces you to maybe not throw, go with the run, look at the chase. Chase, pursuit angles are there, and I like the flavor. You can go up against the Hurricanes, you better not be shot. Corey Mosley is a freshman, a redshirt freshman, fourth down and a long two. They're not going to bring the punter on, they're too close in. And now Virginia will call for a timeout. I'm going to look things over. So the Cavaliers want to talk things over here, facing fourth and a long two at their own 35-yard line. Out. Time out on the field. We're going to take it with them. Virginia up 3 0. Back after this word from your local ACC station. Would you get on a plane with a pilot who has never flown? Would you trust your child with someone who has never cared for children? Would you go under with a surgeon who has never operated? Can you hand your nation to a man who has never been in charge of anything? Can you wait while he learns? The Republican National Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. My Fox Orlando and Nissan are giving you a chance to witness sports history. Win a trip or two to New York and attend the Heisman Trophy Award Show. The prize includes airfare, hotel for three nights, a $1,000 New York shopping spree, and more. Just go to MyFoxOrlando.com, click on Contest, and answer a Heisman trivia question. Sponsored by your local Nissan dealer. Belinda Ortiz, extremist. Belinda Ortiz, lobbyist. Belinda Ortiz is a professional lobbyist who sided with big tobacco over our families. Lobbyist Belinda Ortiz was investigated for violating Florida's lobbying law. Belinda Ortiz is pandering to Orlando extremists and received a 100% rating from a radical right-wing group. An extremist career lobbyist under investigation. Belinda Ortiz, wrong for us. Hi, Central Florida. Billy Payne, B&A Auto Sales. For years, I've told you with $500 down, 
proof of where you live and a job, you're approved at 0% interest at one of our two dealerships in Winter Garden. It's great to know that in these economic times, you can come to B&A, buy a clean, economical vehicle at 0%. Billy Payne, B&A Auto Sales, come and see me. Y si hablas español, pregunte por Carmen. Get weather and traffic on the fives. Wake up prepared and have a great day. Watch Jackie Sosa and Jim Van Fleet weekday mornings on Fox 35 News starting at 5 a.m. ACC football brought to you in part by Chevrolet. Fourth and a long two for Miami at the Virginia 35-yard line. They need the 33. Marv gets the call once the defensive offensive coordinator Patrick Nix looks over the Virginia defense. To the flats a screen first down and more Collier gets this one. There on Collier who caught the 43 yard pass to start this drive goes 13 this time and gets a first down for Miami. Well it takes a lot of skill on this they come back little full screen great blocking great contribution super move and of course you know if you take a challenge you got to believe in yourself and, and the execution on this is outstanding first and ten from the 22 yard line Miami driving down here three nothing and off Cooper right into the middle of the pile he runs into Darren Childs and a few other people down there John Copper is there as well as well as Jenkins of a gain on the play. A good healthy four yards brings up second and six. Copper, one of those cavemen inside, did have his road dog with him, Antonio Appleby, um, who, see, he is suited, but I'm not certain how many steps he's going to get. Three rushes, 12 yards for Cooper, second down and six. of a huddle for the Hurricanes. Patrick Nix with such a young team has moved down field side this year as offensive coordinator. Normally up in the booth. We've got a timeout taken here. This one's going to be charged to Miami. So both teams want to make dead sure this is a key game between both of these. And of course the Coastal Division leadership is at stake. Fans get your cell phones ready. It's time for our interactive feature called the Alltel Text of War. We want your answer to this question. Who's got a better shot at winning the Coastal Division? All right, either Miami or Virginia. Excellent question. That's a good one. That's a good one. You want to text your answer? Either A1 or A2 to 55333. We'll update the results later in the half. Now you want crib notes here. Miami has Virginia, Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, and NC State. Virginia has Miami, Wake Forest, Clemson, and Virginia Tech. Good luck. <laughs> Let's go to the sidelines of Mike Ogwood. Steve, they had to call that timeout because, like so many teams, Miami a lot of times gets their whole call, the entire team from the sidelines. They were really confused, and they had to take the timeout to get everybody on the same page. Brings them up to second and six. And they go no huddle. Marv has the call, has dispatched it to his team, and let's see where they go. Collier has been the favorite receiver. Here comes Cooper. Cooper takes the pitch and gets down to the 11 yard line. He's got the first down, or very close to it. You know, Doc, expect possibly to see a throw off that later today. Yeah, if you watch this and you go, have they overcomplicated it for the youth? I said, no, the guys are handling it. And it also puts pressure on the defense. For the Cavaliers, I mean, this is so far, this is a good one. Longest scoring drive of this season has been four minutes and 28 seconds. They had a couple of scoring drives against Florida State that were 50 seconds in length. First and 10 from the 12 yard line. And here is Cooper drawing a crowd as he crosses the 10 and gets down to the 9. Yeah, sent a good penetration for the Cavaliers. Also, Copper on the tackle. Copper had 16 tackles against North Carolina. Sent on every tackle. Him. No, he is. He's on every tackle. Sent him as the ACC leader in sacks. And tackles for loss at 15, 10 sacks on the season for Clint Sinton out of Woodbridge, Virginia. Second down and seven after the three yard game. Miami knocking on the door in the red zone. Handoff Cooper 
And Cooper dragged down just shy of the five at the six yard line. And in the middle of there, it was Conrath and Jenkins. Coming right at you. See, you got to stay on the block. Give the Canes a lot of credit. At that time, it looked like Gordon had to give up his body, but they're trying to maintain pad pressure. Keep a body on a body. Let the backs pick the spots, but the Cavaliers wouldn't have it. Tavares James replaces Greg Cooper in the backfield. They'll work out of the shotgun on third down. Third and four after the three yard game. Marr looks to the left. Now tucks it under and runs, and he's going to get in for a touchdown, or do they mark him down at the one? They're going to mark him down at the one yard line. He's got a first down either way, a five yard gain. So if they don't get in here, they'll have four more cracks. Well, Alex Field had a great rush right here at the bottom of your screen. He just beat man on. But how, you don't coach this. This is in eight. I mean, he's just making people miss. We saw it last week in their victory. See, Alex Field had super pressure. But then Marv just shows you that I may be one better. That looks like a score. Uh, now they're going to review this, I believe, or is uh, Randy Shannon going to challenge it? Gonna well, challenge I'd, fight, it I'd fight for that if I was in the green booth. No doubt about it. I don't know whether this is a booth review or whether it is a challenge. Well, the knee, again, I'm looking for the knee. This is a coach's challenge now as Randy Shannon challenges the ruling on the field that is now they've changed it. It's not a coach's challenge. Now it is a booth challenge. This will be the 112th play review, 111th play reviewed in the ACC this year. Let's see it again. See, nice move. That just to fake the ball, the defender can't distinguish whether or not he's crossed the line of scrimmage, even though he was 10 yards beyond that. But the presence of mind. Now watch the cuts. The guy, the kid, can change direction, and he knew exactly where he needed to be. Knees appear to be off the ground. Ball over the line. I'd be surprised if that's not a. Touchdown. Let's see what our end zone camera shows. A good look. Uh, it, it's it is very very close. It looks like his knee went down behind, went down but behind. the ball may have broken the plane. Yeah. The thing is, is that once the ball breaks the plane, that's it. It's touchdown. Yeah, it's supposed to be touchdown. Now, whether it broke the plane before the knee touched the ground, it was a bang bang play. Well, we had a pretty good look at it. Yeah. Although my X-ray vision has been. Uh, more just a bit with a bit of allergies today. I still think I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> All right, and let's we see right Hoggy? here. Mike Hogwood. Yeah, uh, Doc, I can tell you this, that all the coaches were over to Randy Shannon saying, you got a challenge, you got a yeah. challenge. He was walking to the official to make that a coach's challenge when they ran over and said, uh-uh, we just got buzzed from upstairs. It's an official uh, replay because they, uh, the coaches upstairs have told them that, that they think it's a touchdown. Well, we're right next to those guys upstairs, and you're, you're doggone right. They went <laughs> nuts over there. They were shy about yeah, it. They, they, they were looking at our uh, monitors. They were looking at the stadium monitor, and they said, if, if they don't review it, you challenge. Half the review. We have a touchdown on the play. On the play. All right, there they go. A reversal of the call on the field, resulting in a touchdown. Six fifty-one. Robert Marv, a six-yard touchdown run. His knees did not touch before the ball broke the plane. And Matt Bosher comes on to kick the point after. Randy Shannon didn't have to use a challenge. The booth decided to review it and went in his favor. Bosher out of the hold of Matt Pirelli. Hey Mike, how you doing, man? Now Ron Cherry. Well, they want to reset the game clock here because the clock should stop once. The touchdown is scored, so that takes a little administration. They move it back to 6:51. Young team on the road. Really, this is championship play now. You're playing for an opportunity to get to to Tampa, and every point precious. Basher for the point after the rush is on. The kick is over and good. Basher has been perfect on 29 point after touchdowns for Miami. Robert Marv. Leads with an 86 yard 10 play drive capping it with a six yard run for a score Miami on top.
there's the rotunda on the University of Virginia campus and closed captioning for today's telecast is provided by Bojangles you got to want to need to get a have a Bojangles we have just seen the longest scoring drive in terms of duration in the season for this Miami team their quick strike team 10 plays 86 yards Marv carried the mail from six yards out but two key passes to Theron Collier his 15th and 16th receptions of the year for 56 yards proved to be the key. Marshall with the kick. And it is Ogletree who will return this one and get out to about the 25 yard line. Ogletree on the return. Sam Shields picks up the tackle. He's got eight special teams tackles this year, and that's where Virginia will start first and 10 out to their own 26 yard line. Well, very impressive first drive for Miami. Yeah, and they did it their way. Quick strike, a uh, little bit of illusion, speed. Now they got to see if they can deal with what I can well, would anticipate is going to be some power football. Try to chew up some clock, try to hit them right in the belly, and see if they can hang in there. We're going to get a healthy dose of uh, Clint Sinton. Yeah. <laughs> or, no, or rather, Pyramid, yeah. Pyramid, Cedric Pyramid. Erica back to throw on first and ten, finds his tight end. Phillips completed the 32 yard line, gain of about six. Let's take a look at our accurate scoreboard. This is the first ACC game of the day of four scheduled. Wisconsin leading Michigan State. Northwestern over 20th ranked Minnesota. Connecticut 7 0 over West Virginia. Michigan leading Purdue in the Big Ten action. And Auburn and Mississippi are scoreless just underway down at Oxford. Second down now and four for Virginia. Phillips in motion. Pierman the lone setback. Verica with a screen to Pierman. Pierman straight ahead. He dives for extra yardage. He'll be marked down at the 34 yard line. A gain of three leaves him a yard short. Glenn Cook on the tackle. Yeah, not only is he a great runner, but he's got nice soft hands, knows where to go. It may be a little short on this. Caught Miami the blitz. It was a perfect call versus that defense. And of course, anything with Pyramid is about better than anything else you can do. They got away from Stephen Wesley that time and put some pressure on inside. Third down and one. Virginia here this afternoon. On third, 0 for 2. They fail here 7 3. Back to throw Barica. Over the middle, complete. This is to Covington, and he's on his way. Covington dropped down at the 31 yard line. Anthony Reddick makes the tackle. Big third and one conversion, a 33 yard aerial to Maurice Covington. Now Covington to me is a guy that has unlimited talent. We saw him against ECU come up with big plays. It's the play action, the block by Pyramid. See, not only is he a super back as a runner, big time block allowed it to get open, and you watch the big fella there rumble. You see, when you're that big, you can get away from hurricanes. I mean, this young man is special. I like everything I see about Maurice Covington. There he is, see, from Durham, North Carolina. He's a senior. And he'll block. Yes, he will. And he'll block. I mean, that's it. Pretty but good card, 21 receptions and a touchdown. Pyramid's block was key on that. Now, that was, that was, that was big time. Pyramid leads this team in a lot of ways. First and 10. Polk in motion, handoff, Pyramid. Big hole left side. Change of direction and gets down to the 15 yard line. Gain of the play of 17 for Cedric Pierman. Ryan Hill has to make a saving tackle to take that load down. Okay, they come out. The thing about this is that Miami's coming at you with this speed. Cabell comes out, gets a good block. Pierman there, low in the shoulders. Talked about how much he admired Walter Payton. See, good backs finish. They don't have to take punishment. They distribute punishment. See, right now, the Cavaliers have turned this into a manhood issue. As Pearman so far this afternoon, we saw him get 173 against East Carolina. Here comes a reverse, and this is going to be Covington. Oh, that's the Ogletree for the end zone. Touchdown, Virginia. 16-yard reverse play to Kevin Ogletree. Boy, when you can work the body as a boxer and you, you're swinging like a lumberjack and this speed, I mean, the canes are tough. They're coming at you active. Take advantage of their speed and their pursuit. And again, the playmaker for Virginia 
is Kevin Ogletree. Make no doubt about it. Now Al Groh is not red hesitant of pulling plays out of the playbook. He did a fake field goal against East Carolina in a third down situation, a fourth down situation. And now comes up with a reverse in the red zone. We got a stoppage of play here. Flags are down on the kick by Yanning Ryering. Crossing snap, full start, 93 offense. That's a five yard penalty. Three big plays in a row for Virginia to get him to pay dirt. A 33 yard pass to Covington, then runs of 16 by Pierman, and then 16 for Ogletree for the touchdown. Five plays, 74 yards, two and a half to do it. That's his first run for touchdown this season. He's caught four touchdown passes. Well, how, you know, how do you respond? The Canes responded. Cavaliers come back and say, one up you. Top hole, Dakey gets it up. So does Wiring, and the point after is good. So a little complicated process of uh, getting the point after over, but nothing complicated about this. Kevin Ogletree into the end zone from 16 yards out on the reverse. A handoff from Pierman. Only touched once against Miami. Now that's telling you. Good call. Mike Grover the call. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's part of it. Hit the quarterback any chance you get. That's right, man. Uh, Bruce Johnson did just that By for all means possible. <laughs> Virginia singing the old Lang Syne here as the Cavaliers take a 10-7 lead. I think it's going to be that type of afternoon today. Let's take a look at our Chevy Stars of the Week in the conference. And they're right here in this game. Offensive lineman of the week, Will Barker of Virginia. Played every snap, didn't allow a sack as Virginia defeated Georgia Tech. And then the Rookie of the Year, or Rookie of the Week, Robert Marv. 11 of 20 from the field at 153 yards, nine rushes for 56 yards, including a touchdown in his first career. He scored his second career here this afternoon, and Miami pulled off a 16-10 win. Prince Hinkabine is getting ready to kick off for Virginia. Ryan Hill and Travis Benjamin back to receive. Benjamin under it at six. And drop down. The tackle made by Eric Thornton, Rodney McLeod actually. Rodney McLeod with a tackle as Benjamin was cranking into warp speed. I mean, you gotta be great on teams to be successful on any, on any level, especially against Miami. Because if you let Benjamin square those shoulders up and get a lane, the band will be playing, and it won't be yours. <laughs> There's McLeod with a big tackle. He's a true freshman. First and 10 from the 20-yard line. Cooper is the setback. Marv at quarterback, here's the pitch to Cooper. In pursuit and a great come from behind stop by Nate Collins, the junior from Port Chester, New York. You know, we, we, we watched this last year with Chris Long. Now, you know you're a bad boy. Watch 51. Clint sitting there's two guys, not one but two, and he still maintained contain. He forced to play inside. That's balling. Nate Collins with the stop. That's his 22nd tackle this season. It doesn't go for loss. It's second down and 10. James and Cooper now in the backfield. Cooper as a setback. Epps moves his way around to the right side. Play action. Yeah, take flag four. down. Took a little long for that to develop for Miami. And this will push them back somewhat. Ron Cherry and his crew gather and make a decision. There is no penalty flag on the play. Timeout was called prior to the snap. Therefore, there is no formation, illegal formation. All right, it's a timeout. Now let's take a look at Miami's last drive. A 10-play, 86-yard drive. Cooper gets it down inside, and then they're on Collier. Goes 13 yards. Marv will take it inside for the touchdown from six yards out on a third down play. And that puts Miami temporarily ahead seven to three. And then Virginia came right back down the field and the Ogletree reverse. And here's what they're fighting for today. Virginia three and one in the ACC right now. The only one loss team in their division. Georgia Tech a game a half game back. North Carolina Miami and Virginia Tech a full game back. 
And then there's Duke. Nobody's talking about Duke, but the Dukies, they <laughs> they got some road ahead of them. And they're four and three on the season, two games away from bowl eligibility. Hey, the beauty is control your own destiny. Everybody has a shot. Wide open ACC race this year. Second down and 15, or second down and 10. And a flag flies on the play. This probably is for real this time. So Miami. Shoots Crowd himself to the foot. Ball start, 64, offense. So it's second and 15 now as it pushes the ball back to the 15 yard line. Again, presence when you can rush the quarterback, there's no substitute. There's no substitute for it. And you're going to see here, Fox, the left tackle. It's just the presence of knowing you've got a speed guy, whether it's the right or left side. And this time he does a good job and he's a terrific player. I didn't quite frankly didn't see the movement. Second down and 15. LeVon Bird is up top, wide out to that side. Sam Shields in the ballgame as well. Marv now scrambles out of a crumbled pocket, and his pass is incomplete. Intended upfield for Richard Gordon. Again, sent him left side. He's the guy putting pressure on the quarterback. Good break on the ball. Mosley comes in, and you go, your quarterback didn't want your guy up that high. Now watch it to 51, Werewolf. Coming around the corner, great hands, great recovery on the outside. By Rutledge, it's going to be King Kong versus Godzilla all afternoon. These two Rams going after it. What's Virginia going to do defensively now with Miami faced at third and 15? They rush four, pass a screen in the middle. And it's shy of the first down after the 24-yard line throw to Greg Cooper. A gain of nine, but they needed 15. Burrell in on the tackle for Virginia, the junior, out of uh, South Orange, New Jersey. Mistakes. Now, I'll remember that drive as yeah. self-inflicted wound by the Hurricanes. Yeah, that was blown up from the beginning. Vic Hall back to receive the punt of Matt Bosher, who is third in the ACC in punt yardage at 40.7. Bosher's quite a character. Prides himself as a quarterback, running back, linebacker, and a kicker's body. And a fair catch call for it by He's Hall at the 33. Yes, he is, an athlete. <laughs> Speaking of athletes, waiting on the sidelines are Mike Hogwood. Oh, that was classic. Uh, you know, Steve, we were talking to Al Grow yesterday, and we said, Coach, what kind of game are you expecting today? A low scoring, high scoring? He said, you know, I never know till we get to the stadium and I see my guys and how they're doing one-on-one -on -one with the opposition. Well, Stephen Doc, one on one right now, I think Virginia's got a little bit of the upper hand. Well, they've got some power in that lineup, and they showed it with uh, Cedric Pierman. They haven't found a result for him yet. Back to throw off play action, Verica. First and 10, coming back for it is Ogletree. And it's a short gain out to the 35 yard line. And making the tackle, Sean Spence. Also, Carlos Palmer out there. Al Grohl making a point on the sidelines. The Cavaliers have a 10-7 lead. We've had our second punt of the day. One for each team. Dontrell Illman Inman is split wide to the top. On second down and eight. Out of the shotgun, Verica to Pierman. Pierman, not much running room. He'll make some. Allen Bailey will ride him down to the 39-yard line. He backs up Stephen Wesley at the uh, defensive end. He's a sophomore out of Georgia. There's Alan Bailey. 13 tackles, five for loss, two sacks. And nearly got Doc on a, on a leg whip here. He was coming back into the booth. <laughs> oh, goodness. Third down and five. Ten seven Virginia. Here comes Verica to throw. A lot of heat. He was intended for Coke on the play. Stood in there. He stood in it. I can't imagine what it's like to have that kind of pressure around you for these quarterbacks. But well, Verica has faced it a lot. He faced it a lot against Georgia Tech last week. I was impressed how quickly he got rid of the ball. Well, that's the key. You know, if you hold it, you're going to get you're going to get tagged. And you watch it. There's constant, consistent pressure. And I love the Canes because they make sure you get a tattoo. 
Erica comes to the sidelines. The first three and out from either side here. And this is going to be Jimmy Howell, true freshman back in punt formation, and Benjamin back to receive. They're going to make Benjamin move for it now. And he'll let it go. And it splashes inside the 20 and goes out of bounds at the 13. He's a quick steady. Yes, he is. <laughs> Got away from that. It's a 49 yard punt for Jimmy Howell and no return. All season long, champion apparel will be showcasing the tradition and history of the ACC before each home kickoff at Charlottesville Scott Stadium crowd turns their attention to Who Vision for the adventures of Cadman, a design three dimensional character based on a Cavalier mascot. And the video featuring Cadman is uh, Eric Elfgren and Matt Uncaffer. They designed it today. The video finishes just as the real Cadman takes the field and you know the cabman always wins in the video that's our champion how you play Scott Stadium crowd on a sun splashed Saturday afternoon first and ten from the 14th this is Cooper well this is Javaris James James has been struggling with an ankle injury and he gets out to the 23 yard line nice game for James that time about eight on the play you got to play it down yeah it looks like Jason you Fox. Know, no matter how cute, how shifty, innovative you are, sooner or later you got to drive people off the ball. Look at the canes across the board. Shannon 55 stand right in on a good nose tackle. Jenkins, you see everybody's got good pad placement, no belly floppers. Everybody's up high and pushing the pile. And when Fox went down as a result of the end of the play, he got hurt. It looks like Fox. Canes better hope it ain't Fox. <laughs> I'll tell you what, because you, you come in as a backup and say, oh, by the way, you're going to have to block Clint Sintem. Now, you see Fox going over to get in. The oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. boy. That's see, a knee crunched as. And he's hustling. See, he's hustling to get the second level block, get an extra block. A lot of guys are one and done with a block. This guy's trying to get two, and he just unfortunately got caught up. With James who's trying to get downfield. Tough injury. He's your left tackle. He protects the quarterback's backside. Yeah, that's where Sintem lines up on third and long <laughs> opportunity. So <laughs> not only do you have to come in at the backup, but you got to deal with this werewolf from UVA. And here is uh, Fox getting ready to leave the field here. Out of Fort Worth, Texas, 6'7, 306. He's caught a pass for a touchdown against Florida State on a tackle eligible. Play. Well, and just about everything happened in that game. And can you imagine there his practices? Oh, I mean, yeah. you're dealing with Miami in practice. So this guy, I mean, he's a terrific athlete. I like when you're, you're that long and he's got balance. I was looking forward to that bat. So can that Rutledge we're going to see because they'll flip center. The beauty is they're equal opportunity. They're going to move him all over the place. Gonna put a young blood, I think, over there on that side. And work off second and one. Andy Shannon surveying the damage here. Second down and one now for Miami. With 45 seconds left to go. Maybe two plays left in this first quarter. Javaris James is the setback. Young blood's got experience. So he's been there. They've got a fullback this time in Patrick Hill. Benjamin and Aldarius Johnson are out there wide, but this is going to be James, and he cuts his way upfield to the 27 yard line for the first down. Matt Conrath on the tackle for Virginia. He's a special young man. What he gives them again, he keeps those shoulders square. He's a fast guy who's tough enough to go between the tackles. You can't make a living on full screens and throwing balls. You got to be able to have some meat and potatoes with your offense. He gives it to him. You can see the accurate scoreboard. Things are starting to cook in college football on a Saturday. First and ten. Robert Marr. That's your freshman play action back to throw. Pass is incomplete. Intended out there for Aldarius Johnson, true freshman out of Miami at Northwestern High School. We talked about in the pregame show. We look at it again. Boy, it's great play action. You know, anything touches any great receiver's hand feels like he could have it. But I'm sure it'd have been a lot easier if the ball's on his numbers. Northwestern High School was uh, one of the top recruiting areas in they Miami. Lost last night. Huh? Yeah, they did, Mike said. A 36 game win streak for them and fell to the wayside. But just the fact that uh, Harris won 30 straight games in high school. One of the QBs, I mean, that's that's getting it done. We may see him on the third series. Here comes the pitch, comes to James. Turns the corner, gets away from field. Now heads upfield and is close to a first down. 
Brought down by Corey Mosley. Javaris James. is unbelievable. I was just about to say that was a bad design. Yeah, that was. That was a great design. Well, we've had it all happen here in the first quarter. We've had reverses for touchdown. We've had knees down at the end zone, but we've got exciting action with Virginia up by a field goal. This is the ruggedly re-engineered Ranger XP. The smoothest ride ever. A new level of comfort and convenience. It can get up and go where others can't follow. It just goes to show the more things change, one thing remains the same. The new Ranger. Hardest working, smoothest riding. Again, hurry in to your local dealer to see the new 2009 Ranger lineup. This brown bag special is such a great deal. I know. I love you get two of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like two tots. Mm -hmm. Two drinks. You get two burgers. It's too good to be true. Too good to be true. Right, I get it. This is too much fun. I thought that would be more fun than it was. Brown Bag Special. Sonic's got it, others don't. A Sonic-sized deal with two burgers, two tots, and two drinks for just $6.99. And for dessert, try the new Sticky Bundo Blast. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Chevrolet has always fit your life. And now your Chevy dealer offers financing that fits. Access to hundreds of competing banks to get you the financing you need at the best rate possible. And every pickup and SUV is available with an EPA estimated 20 MPG or better. Including these 08 Silverado half-ton models now with 5,000 purchase cash back. Trucks that fit, financing that fits. See your local Chevy dealer. Today's game is brought to you by Altel, the official wireless partners of fans. Welcome back to Charlottesville, Virginia. Steve Martin, Rick Doc Walker, Mike Hogwood here for ACC football from Raycom Sports, getting ready to start the second quarter in what has been an offensive show so far. 10-7 Virginia, both teams over 100 yards in total offense. And a flag down and whistles blow on first down. It's going to be another false start. 74 offense. That's a five-yard penalty. Still first down. Second illegal procedure penalty against Miami. A progress energy progress report after the first quarter. You see the total yards just about even. The turnover for Miami gave Virginia a field goal after Travis Benjamin. Wasn't able to field the punt. Walked right up and hit him in the leg. Virginia recovered at the 30, and Miami was fortunate enough to hold them down to just a field goal. Play 15 minutes, please. All right, they, Ron Cherry has done a lot of clock administrative work here in this game. <laughs> rolls it back to 15 minutes. First and 15 for the Hurricanes. They have the ball back at their own 34 yard line. Robert Marr. Richard Freshman has already scored once today. And a QB. Big rush is on by Field chasing him, and he has to throw it to the tube set. Alex Field came in unblocked. Now he, I mean, that's the second time today he has disrupted a play. The first time, Marv was elusive enough to get around him and score. And you watch middle of your screen. See, Shannon comes back with the cut. Good athletes jump cut blocks. And that's exactly what he did. So field forced the incomplete pass. Second down and 15 now. Pass out there to Farkerson complete. Farkerson pulled down at the 38 yard line by Rasai Dowling. Good defense on the play by Virginia. It's going to be a pickup of about four. Oh, great tackle. Dowling was a good one. Yeah. Sophomore out of Chesapeake, Virginia. And there's Kane Farkerson. Dawson's a big guy, but he got strong. Well, of course, there's a one pass he didn't catch. 
at the end of the game against North Carolina that would have lifted Miami to the win. But that's you for it. You have to be patient. And Coach Shannon understands it. But you can see it now, boy. They are going to be very good. Third down and 11. Miami down here, 10-7. Pass complete to James. Javaris James gets away from one ankle tackle, but can't get it up for the first down. Denzel Burrell in on the stop of Javaris James. It'll bring the punch unit in all. And Javaris James could be back and try to get his legs, you know, back to where he would be had he not been injured. But you can just see it. Stops, cuts on a dime, makes you miss. First guy seldom if ever gets a chance to bring him down. Love this high end zone look. I mean, just a battling going on there. Shannon comes back, nice block. See the receivers are trying, so everybody's involved. Washer on the kick, big call to receive. Low snap, but he gets a beautiful one out. All will get away from it. It takes a Miami bounce out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Beautiful kick by Washer, a 43 yard punt, no return. Virginia has the ball, we come back with the Cavaliers up three. Handcrafted triple prime burgers are the best of the best, made with three cuts of prime steak, ground fresh. 25 great burgers starting at $5.99. The new Ruby Tuesday, so good it's guaranteed. Whose year is it? Who's got the drive? Do you have what it takes? Are you on the road to victory? We'll see you at the end of the road. Going to the game this weekend, Jim? Well, Jerry, for more on that, let's throw it over to the Hampton Hotel where my wife Tracy has checked in. Trace, what's the mood over there? In a word, Jim, electric. Comfy beds, complimentary hot breakfast, and friendly service. Now, Trace, what's that noise I hear? Jim. She's kidding. <laughs> I'm not. It's college football, honey. Well, there you have it, folks. And Trace, I'll see you in a few hours. Back to you, Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Ruby Tuesday's handcrafted burgers are bold on flavor and big on taste, including the avocado turkey burger. One of 25 great burgers starting at $5.99. The new Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. Well, we've got action for you next week. One of three games, either Clemson, Florida State, Georgia Tech, North Carolina, or Wake Forest hosting Virginia. First and ten for the Cavaliers. And they get uh, up field quickly, but it's only about two yards for Cedric Pierre. Of course, he had a six-day call on the major network, so the ACC will announce game times and carriers tomorrow or next week. We've got a good one anywhere we go. Can't lose. No, can't, can't lose. lose. The three we got, or could potentially have, one of the three is going to be a great game. Second down and nine. Perryman and Jackson off by the backfield out of the shotgun. Verica. Verica upfield incomplete. Intended for Maurice Covington. Coming on the play, Brandon Harris. He had a freshman out of Miami. He had a good line, sight line. Good vision on that. That was not obstructed by the pass rush. That's a throw. You gotta make it. We saw Marv have one similar. You know, you got you gotta hit those. The game like this, this tough, this tight, with so much on the line, you have to take advantage of the gimme. That was a gimme. Mark Barricus, six for nine and fifty-one yards. Third down and nine coming. Virginia one of four on third down. But they lead here 10-7. The throw, Barricka complete. 
to Covington. He scratches ahead. He's going to be way short of the first down. Going to be up to the, about the 18-yard line. Harris and Spence come in to make the tackle for Virginia, and the punter is on again. So two three and outs, back to back for the Cavaliers. And Miami didn't have to blitz in order to get pressure. They didn't get great pressure, but they they protected the sticks. They're on Collier is back in punt formation instead of Travis Benjamin. Jimmy Howell back to kick for Virginia. Both teams now battling for field position. So a flurry of offense in the first quarter. It's been all defense in the second. Howell gets a line drive out there fielded by Collier at the 49 yard line. And Collier's in Virginia territory brought down at the 42. Trey Womack in on the tackle. It's a 35 yard punt and 11 yard return. Virginia by three. Back after this word from your local ACC station. Fox Highlights Orlando.com. This is the place for all things high school sports. Killer plays, winning goals, and all your high school sports scores. Post game photos and share them with other local schools. Show your pride now. You shoot it, we share it. Fox Highlights Orlando.com. Welcome to Matchup. Today we're talking bundles. Like adding home phone to your Roadrunner High Speed Online from Bright House Networks. Now you can get both for just one low monthly price. Unfortunately, Jeff chose the phone company bundle. With all those hidden fees and billing charges, his wallet is really suffering. It's going into cash arrest. Shock it! <sighs> That was close. Avoid trauma with the Bright House Roadrunner Home Phone Bundle for just one low monthly price. The taxes and threats of Kendall Moore. Moore raises property taxes 120% without apology. Set of state income tax is now on the table, ignoring advice it could cripple the entire Florida economy. Now, Moore attacks his opponent's 79-year-old father and mother, causing pain no parent should ever feel. It's one thing, Mr. Moore, to threaten punishing taxes, but when you attack an opponent's parents, why would we listen to anything you say? My Fox Orlando and Nissan are giving you a chance to witness sports history. Win a trip or two to New York and attend the Heisman Trophy Award Show. The prize includes airfare, hotel for three nights, a $1,000 New York shopping spree, and more. Just go to MyFoxOrlando.com, click on contest, and answer a Heisman trivia question. Sponsored by your local Nissan dealers. Honey? If you want to get rid of your gray hair, try my hair color. It's really easy. Women's hair color can take 30 minutes just for men take five. No one will notice. Her colors every hair just for men targets only gray. The truth is men need just for men. Wake up prepared and watch Jackie Sosa and Jim Van Fleet starting at 5 a.m. Close captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles. You've got to want to need it, get a habit. Bojangles, best place to start a drive today for Virginia at the 43-yard line. And Ja'Cory Harris is in the ballgame at quarterback for his first series of the day. Play action for him. Throws into a stiff rush and is complete. And it's brought down by Devon Johnson. Johnson, a true freshman, so true freshman to true freshman. It's Corey Harris, it's an 18 yard. Low play action, plenty of time. Nice, good throw and catch. And that's what I mean by a gimme. That's a gimme, you want to take advantage of it. Good operation. 18 yard hookup. First and 10 at the Virginia 25. Blitz is on. Hand off James. And he's right into the teeth of that Virginia defense and there's not much there. Corey Harris is a true freshman. He, like many on this team, went to Northwestern High School, played for that great club. This season, 55 of 92. He has five touchdowns, four of them against Duke. And three interceptions, 538 yards. True freshman of great promise. And he and Robert Marv split this quarterback position. Marv gets most of the series. It's probably three to one or three to two in terms of series run. But the beauty is that you have two guys you trust and two guys that you can win with. Harris calls his own number and slips his way to the 
23 yard line. Gain of about two, Alex Field and Clint Simpson have to stop to the sidelines. We go in Mike Hogwood. Well, this Virginia defense has several leaders. One of them is Vic Hall. He's a captain, but just a junior. He does everything, and according to Al Groh, he prepares professionally every single week. He was the key player to stop Georgia Tech last week as they were going for a game-winning drive. He could be a big key player to them. Third down and nine, and the ball is situated just three yards out of the red zone. Big third down conversion coming for the Miami Hurricanes, who are one of four in that department. That one, though, was a touchdown. Harris to throw, stands in, fires complete, and That'd close to the first down. And it's going to be Farkerson who pulls it down, but he might have been it's short. Right. Uh, Doc. Yeah, I think it's short. We're just from this vantage point, it appears to be short. And again, you just and I know coaches go pull the hair out of the head. And Aubrey Hill's a good one. Former Gator coaching these wide outs and stuff. You just want guys to know where they are, where we need to get. It's good catch. You know, you, you're compromised by good defense. Hall got in there, put a good little hit on it. Now we got a 33-yard field goal attempt coming now for Matt Bosher, who is 12 of 13 of field goals at a 52-yarder last week, and he splits the uprights with this 33-yarder that ties the ball game up at 10 all with 9:23 left to go here in the first half of play. So Matt Bosher converts. The defenses have dug in, and despite good field position, Miami has to settle for a field goal. Virginia, of course, coming in on a four-game winning streak, and it started against Maryland. Kevin Ogletree takes this 51-yard pass from Mark Barica, falls into the end zone for the score, 31-0. Then the next week, Cedric Pierman had a beautiful day, 173 yards rushing. Virginia closed out East Carolina about 15. Then against the Tar Heels, setting up overtime. Pierman goes in, and Virginia with a field goal and overtime wins. And of course, here's Pearman against Georgia Tech a week ago. His late touchdown carried Virginia to a 24-17 win over Georgia Tech. First four games, they averaged nine yards, 251 yards of total offense. And look what they've done the last four. 26.5, 382, 4 and 0 record. But November is a different month. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah. The key is the turnover margin. Uh, Virginia, they recruit well. They have kids that can play. As soon as they stop giving field position away and possessions away they started pounding people. Bosher with the kick turned by Minifield. Turns direction. Can he outrun Miami? No. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Tackle made by Demarcus Van Dyke. A 19-yard return. Let's take a look at our all-tell text of war. Who's got a better chance of winning the Coastal Division? Well, Miami fans are pretty confident. They've rung in at 74 to 26 percent. Now there's still time to log your vote. Text your answer A1A2 to 55333. Get practice for Tuesday. Thanks for participating in All Tells Text of War. It's a pretty good one. Pretty good one this week. First and 10, open backfield. Barica throws, complete to Ogletree. And Ogletree brought down at the 37-yard line by Romeo Davis. Well, that's a first down grab of 17 yards. I don't know if it was the move or the or the turf, but Ogletree, yeah, it is, just slips. Makes his man slip, catches, turns, yards after the catch. Now watch it again. Good receivers give you a forward lean. They stop on a dime, come back to the football, square up. And pick up yards. Good look. Over the the second catch of the day has 100 for his career. Here's Perman. Perman shake and bake to the corner. Still on his feet for the first down and in Miami territory at the 45 yard line. Anthony Reddick makes the tackle to knock out Cedric Perman after an 18 yard game. Boy, that was vicious. And it started at the point of attack. I mean, I like, I just like physical team. Both of these teams are physical. See the double team there? They got inside, they got a seal block. Everybody's on someone coming to trying to get a block. The Canes chasing, but this kid here, you talk about sweetness. Walter P. Peyton, get off me. Stiff head, getting up the field, making yardage. He's a Viking. 7.1 a carry, eight totes and 57 yards so far for Cedric Pierman. Pass Verica complete. That's Ogletree with his third catch of the day. 
And he's brought down after an eight-yard gain at the Miami 37-yard line. Tackle made on the play by Alan Bailey. He thinks this doesn't have a feel now. I don't know where all the Cavalier fans are, because I'm a little disappointed at the fact that I see some concrete. But I'll tell you what, this is for championship. They, they're in the seat. They're in the driver's seat. Good catch. Now, how many guys are getting out of the chip? So you see the blue shirts kind of converge. I said that was Ogletree. It turned out to be Covington. Second down and two after the eight yard game. And off Pierman going left. Pierman heads to the corner, puts his, fa his fist right in Harris's face mask. And he gets down to the 27 yard line. Harris making the tackle. But a flag down on the play. It's a nine yard game. Tell you what now, Cabell, BJ, the bat love the biggest getting out running. Look at 65 coming around the corner. Gets the block, gets the seal. Boy, that's big time. That is big time. And there you see. Pyramid saying, get off me. Personal foul. Face mask. 26. Defense. 15 yards. After this is gone. It was Reddick. Reddick coming back with a face mask after Pierman had given the face mask to Harris. Yeah, but we can't say youth on this one now. No. I, I didn't see I anything. just thought they were battling. Yeah, I didn't I didn't quite catch that one. They were just going after it. They go half the distance to the 14-yard line. We got a rumble here, folks. And he got drawn, but they got back. Mikel Simpson is back there at tailback. He takes the delay handoff and gets captured for a two-yard loss to the 16-yard line. Yeah, that was great defensive tackle play there by Dixon. Antonio Dixon. Senior out of Miami. Booker T. Washington High School, uh, another school that has provided a lot of kids for the Miami program. Our first and ten line is brought to you by SeatExchange.com, the official ticket exchange partner of the ACC. 6.45 left in this first half. Second down and 12 for Virginia. Ball of the Miami 16. Barrett to throw. Pressure on by Bailey. Pass complete to Phillips. And Phillips brought down at the 11 yard line by Bruce Johnson. It'll be a gain of about five. John gets himself open. He's a big target. America has shown he's very comfortable getting to him, and they have a number of ways to get him in the, in the ball game. You're not going to keep the tight end from getting catches when you play the Cavaliers. Virginia Tech offensively has gone to their tight end quite a bit. In fact, 38 touchdowns from their tight end since Al Groh has gotten him. Virginia 1 of 5 on third down, looking at third and seven in a tie ball game at 10. To throw, Verica looking for the end zone, has a man there, Coke, flag down on the play. Defending Bruce Johnson, and that'll give Virginia an automatic first down. Yeah, two things. One, is the ball catchable? You you look for that. I mean, I'm one that thinks the defense has equal right to the football. So I always want to know, does he have equal right to the football? Pass it first. Defense number 22. The ball will be placed on the two-yard line. Automatic first down. The question is, does he make premature contact? If not, they're going for it. See, to me, that's just you're fighting for the ball. There it is again. Yeah, A little, just yeah. well, ever sometimes, so slight. Yeah. Sometimes guys will cheat and hold. I didn't see that one. That's at, now this guy's competing in my book. Deshaun Jackson. It's goes a tough in. call. It's a tough call. Either yes, way you look at it, yes, it's a it very is. difficult call. Deshaun Man, Jackson in a fullback, first and goal from the two. And off Pierman. Pierman slugs his way ahead and is stopped. Shy of the touchdown. And coming up to make a big stop there was Sean Spence, among others. Two freshmen. He too like others out of South Northwestern High School. And Alan Bailey. Also Glenn Cox in on the tackle. Glenn Cook, rather, in on the tackle for Miami. Second down and goal. From the two, no game. Well, Glenn's a guy like having a, a laptop computer on the field for the for the Canes. I mean, this guy. Keeps everybody in shape. Barrick to throw on second and goal. Throw into the end zone, a wobbler as it was blocked out of his hands. 
good pressure on the play intended for Phillips. Looked like Spence was inside. Yeah, see, that's why I'd be screaming and hollering from a defensive standpoint because I love the way the way Phillips made it a move to go get the ball. So it's kind of it's just always been difficult for me to understand what the motive is when people are putting together rules on how you defend the pass, especially in the red zone. Ogletree and Covington are in the game. Third down and goal from the two. Four wide receivers. Pierman next to Verica. Out of the shotgun. Verica. Touchdown. Jared Green. The young and <laughs> the red shirt freshman from Vienna, Virginia, Jared Green catches his first college touchdown. He's waiting on his first one. Saw him last night at the hotel. And he had nine catches coming in. Said he sure would like to get a big one. And especially if it's towards winning. A good throw, good catch. The Cavaliers take advantage of the interference call. And on their third crack from the two, they put it in. Here's Wiry for the point after. It is good. And Virginia has a touchdown lead here on Miami as this fascinating first half continues from Charlottesville. Verica with the touchdown pass. That's going to be his sixth of the season and the first for Jared Green. You know, these sausage biscuit dippers are a great idea. Mm. A breakfast sandwich that you can dip. Yeah, but they're not just dippable. They're dive bombable. Oh. Or high diveable. Boing. Ah, swan dive. Okay, Psh. all right. They're also skinny dippable. Uh oh, oh no clothes. Oh. <laughs> sausage biscuit dippers. New at Sonic. Three mini sausage biscuits served to the side of warm country gravy for dipping and make it better with one of our premium roast specialty coffees, like a Java Chiller. It's time to get more out of your tires. It's time to get Cooper. Because now during Cooper's national Take the Money and Ride event, you'll not only get unbeatable performance, you'll get a $50 rebate by mail when you buy four qualifying Cooper tires. Cooper's Take the Money and Ride event. Get your rebate form and all the details at a participating Cooper dealer or at coopertire.com. But do it today. The road and your $50 rebate are waiting. Play. I don't want to get out. I want that one and that one and that one too. I don't want to go to bed yet. You haven't been spoiled like this since you were a kid. Unless of course you've been here before. Come back to where Old South Charm meets New South Luxury at the Grand Hotel and Spa on Mobile Bay, Alabama. Feeling the crunch? Like maybe now isn't the right time to buy? Think again. Your Buick Pontiac GMC dealers are ready to say yes to great financing offers. Introducing financing that fits. See your dealer for access to hundreds of banks and credit unions all competing to get you the best rate possible. Even with no down payment for qualified buyers. Yes to big cash back. Like 6,000 total cash back on Yukon. And yes to the best coverage in America on most Buicks, Pontiacs, and GMCs. Say yes and visit your local Buick Pontiac GMC dealer today. The creativity of Pat O'Reilly and her husband manufactured our ACC pumpkin for Halloween. The scoring drive. Well, it's an impressive one. Nine plays, 80 yards, 419 to execute. Jared Green. Pop the touchdown pass from Mark Verica. Comes the kick. Benjamin fields it at the eight. Benjamin looking for a way out. And can't find one. Forced out of bounds by number 43, Mike Parker. Well, a look at our Suzuki way of life is Byron Glasby, a senior starting safety for Virginia, joined the Cavaliers as a walk on on a campus wide tryout in 2005. He became a starter not long after that, and he's started ever since. Matter of fact, 36 career starts, 37 being today. He has 38 tackles, two pass breakups, or as we call two PBUs. There you see one interception big interception at the end of the Georgia Tech game that uh, ended a drive by the Yellow Jackets and gave the win to the Virginia Cavaliers at fourth straight to Corey Harris is back for his second series and Greg Cooper is back in the backfield. Play action Harris Harris complete to Travis Benjamin 
And it's good enough for the first down at the 33 yard line. Now they're waving it off. Boy, Vic Hall was coming in on the blitz, and Harris in a hurry just got rid of it. Harris, too, is showing you that poise with his youth. You know, your little pressure stood in there. Now it looked like, like it may have bounced. Yeah, it's a great call. And the umpire fell on his way down yeah. to make the call. Sacrifice his body. <laughs> Second down and 10. Virginia leading here by seven. There's the pitch to the corner. Cooper. And Cooper is brought down. We have a flag down on the play as well at the 20 yard line. Cooper Byron Flasby, we talked about just a moment ago on our Suzuki way of life for Hawk Arms, makes the tackle. Good one, two glass. He'll come up and hit you. And they're pointing against Miami. That's a hold against the Hurricane. Hard enough to beat the opponent, especially yeah. on the road, than to help him. Well, after the first two series, Miami's done a pretty good job of holding itself back. Yeah. 28. Offense. 10 yards. We'll replay the down. That's the sixth penalty of the day, 51 yards. As a matter of fact, they committed two penalties in the last Virginia scoring drive that helped propel them downfield 23 yards as a result. They can get it back now. They can get it back in a hurry. Got to execute. Second down and 20. Play action draw goes to Cooper trying to get outside and can't. Nick Hall helps drag him down at the 15 yard line. Nick Hall blitzed one play and was there to stop Cooper on the inside handoff. See, and until Harris hits a big pass play on him, he's going to have to prove he can beat it with his arm. I mean, that's just blue shirts getting to the point of attack. And Miami, when they run right at you, and especially with James, I mean, they, they can take you to a different level. Third down and 17. Miami one of five on third down this afternoon. They trail here 17 to 10. Draw play again. This time to Cooper. Cooper straight ahead, and he, he is have very it. close. He's going to be short, Doc. Yeah. He's going to be short at the 31. Same thing they did last possession. You know, they kill a play on their own, they have a so so play, and then they'll get one, they'll get a big play. See, the snap has been a little slow to me in the gun. A little slow, and that helps the defense. But this is just a great individual effort. All right, we're back to punt. Here's Bosher again, and Vic Hall, who was superlative on that drive defensively for Virginia. That's a great snap. Three and out. And a rocket there by Bosher. Bear catch called for by Hall at the 28-yard line. It'll be a 40-yard kick. No return by Vic Hall. This year, Raycom Sports and CBS College Sports will be presenting the ACC Fall Olympic Sports Championships for free on ACC Select. Catch your team's games online as they compete to be crowned the official ACC champions. Visit the ACC.com for more information. Bottom of the hour, Steve Martin here along with Rick Doc Walker and Mike Hogwood in Charlottesville, Virginia for Raycom Sports. Our game of the day is a dandy here, Virginia. 17 to 10 over Miami. Verica having a pretty good day. He was four for five and 34 yards in that last drive. He's got the ball again. Pass is complete. This is going to be Covington. It's been a good target for him this afternoon. Out to the 36 yard line. Glenn Cook makes the tackle for the Hurricanes. A gain on the play of seven. Nothing helps an offense better than taking advantage of what I consider gimme. That's another gimme. And Miami had one bounced on theirs. You know, they might still have the football. Phillips is in. There's Verica on the day. 12 of 16. Very efficient day. No interceptions. And a handoff. Goes up and Mike inside Simpson in by Mikel Simpson. Cavalier. They How shut that it? down. There was nothing going on in the middle of that one. Our accurate scoreboard shows Wisconsin up on Michigan State at the half. Northwestern and Minnesota. Minnesota's come back to tie that game. No score. Ole Miss and Auburn. And Connecticut leading West Virginia in the jumbled up Big East. 
who had their only ranked team separated from that ranking by Cincinnati on Thursday night. Third down and two. Virginia two of six on third. Up by a touchdown. Under two to play here in the first half. Verica to throw. As a man downfield, that looks like Ogletree. Oh, they say he's out. Ogletree, the receiver, will they mark him out? Mark Verica pass intended for Kevin Ogletree. Get it's on the receiver. It's on the receiver to negotiate sidelines. That looks like. Whoa. All you need is one foot. Yeah. You got one foot down, and then the second yeah. foot went out. Virginia fans voiced their displeasure. From our vantage point, you'd be absolutely right. Comes out of his break, he's open. Inbounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks that way. Great camera work. And there's going to be a review now, whether it's a booth review or a challenge. Because there was some consultant going on there with Al Gro down on the sidelines. I mean, you're talking about a tug of war here. Comes out of his break, ball down, foot tap. Yeah. Yeah. That's in yeah. So Ogletree. With the catch, Ron Cherry still on the headset. Yeah, that's a great look. That's our best look. Oh, they're going to say no. Incomplete. Wow. Well, sometimes you can't believe what you see. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. That, that foot came down. You need one. It came down three feet inbounds. We have to check with the hog man on that one. That see was, if Hoggy was on that side. The only, the only good thing that happened in Virginia on that play is that that was a booth review instead of a coach's challenge. Yeah. All right, let's go to the sidelines of Mike Hogwood as Jimmy Howell lines up the punt. Well, I'm not going to second guess the officials, but I, I, I will say that just this, it was worth a challenge. <laughs> Come on, Hoggy. I'm not going to second guess those guys. They no, no, I agree. Yeah, they, they're the best at it. Here comes the kick. Howell, who's averaged 44 yards, gets a big bounce. And it's now touched down at the four yard line. A huge kick by Jimmy Howell. Recovered down there by Paul Simmons. It's going to be a 58 yard punt. Well, I know a former Washington Redskin, hopefully future Hall of Famer Brian Mitchell, is right now kicking his television. Great punt returners hate to see punts not fielded. And you look at the swing and yardage. It's gone under any circumstances. They just hate to see it. Well, Ja'Cory Harris is back on. Barrick is saying, hey, we got it. Howell with a big kick. There's Jimmy Howell right there. First and ten. Miami at their own five-yard line. There's James. Javaris James gets out to the eight. Goes down in the grasp of looks like that's going to be Copper. John Copper and Matt Conrath, Conrath rather, on the tackle. Copper, fifth year senior out of Roanoke, Virginia. Great I, I like story. That. Steven, I, I like when Miami comes and runs it off tackle. James reminds me, you know, a lot of what Clint Portis brings for Washington. And then a guy with Jets and can go, but is strong enough to run off tackle to keep drives going. Copper has six tackles so far today. Under a minute to play. Virginia showing blitz, handoff James again. And this time he gets out to about the 15 yard line where he's close to a first down. That'll stop the clock as Glasby makes the tackle with 44 seconds left to go. In the last two minutes of the first half, you want to avoid bad plays. See, they can't afford to have a bad play. Copper went around the block that time, not through one. But James keeps those shoulders square. Move the pile, create yourself some space. Virginia calls a timeout. They have one remaining, and so does Miami here with 44 seconds left to go. We'd like to welcome back all the Virginia students. As Randy Shannon now looks at his team, he said, We want to build something good, but be as good as possible en route 
And with the youth that he's brought into this program, you can certainly make a strong case for that. And this team's looked pretty good. Virginia has looked good. Now, Virginia, Ron Cherry and Al Gro may be talking about that play, that Ogletree catch. You better believe it. Saying, somebody owes me one here along the way. <laughs> well, you know, we talk about Miami youth and his talent, but they recognize, as far as I'm concerned, the road now to Tampa is right through Charlottesville. That's right. And they got a chance to beat the target. Time out on the field. We'll be back with the teams with Virginia up by seven. We are back in Charlottesville with 44 seconds remaining in this first half. Miami's just picked up a first down. They started this drive at the five yard line. Ja'Cory Harris in for his third series. Robert Marv had three. Play action. Harris has time going upstairs, has a man down there, and it is Parkinson. And it's going to be incomplete. No, that's Sam Shields. <laughs> Sam Shields, the intended receiver, Razai Dowling, and Corey Mosley defending. Interesting. Thought he had it blocked pretty well. Of course, you know who gets there at the end. Sent him. So you had a no hitter on the block. The ball, if the ball is deep outside, maybe touchdown. Dowling came up slowly. Let's see what happened. It's a great effort to catch. He got crunched in the middle between Mosley and the receiver, yeah. Sam Shields. Shields made a terrific effort. And Dowling will slowly come off the field. The sophomore from Chesapeake, Virginia. 36 seconds left to go in his first half of play. Patrick Nix, coordinator, he had two people assigned to center. And with two people assigned to him, he still put a slobber knocker on your quarterback. <laughs> now, either he's a man. I love that term. Or you need to fire one of those two guys you assigned to him. <laughs> They're in college. You can't. Harris, two for four, 25 yards. Second down, handoff. James blasts through a hole and gets the first down after the 29-yard line. Denzel Burrell makes the tackle for Virginia. He didn't look good now. He looks like he either turned, twisted, or did something. Well, he's had a problem with the ankle. That's kept him out of the lineup for three games for Miami and has allowed Greg Cooper to kind of take over the spot and command it. Wow, watch this then. I mean, it explodes. <laughs> this kid can change direction and, and make it happen. And they can, they're a physical running team when they want to be. Seven carries and 50 yards for James. Play action for Harris. Steps up, fires over the middle of the field, complete. To Aldarius Johnson, another true freshman. It's in Virginia territory at the 48. It stops the clock with three seconds left to go. But we got a flag back at the Miami 34 yard line. 24 yard game pending. It could be illegal receiver. And that was the will receive it downfield. Number 74. That's a five yard penalty. We'll replay the down. Orlando Franklin left early. And that is the seventh penalty on the Canes here in the first half. It negates a 24-yard gain. Takes the gain away, but it lets Harris know that he can do it. Yeah. And they still pulled it off. I mean, <laughs> they're playing 13 men now. You know, they're playing the Cavaliers plus two. All right, they'll take a knee. Won't even do that and let the clock run out. The first half comes to a close. The Virginia Cavaliers have the lead 17 to 10 on a Jared Reed touchdown pass from Mark Verica as they head into the locker room here at halftime but it's a young Miami club that is capable of exploding at any moment Al Groh needs, knows it will try to develop a defense for it and standing by with Randy Shannon Miami coaches Mike Hogwood thank you Steve first of all coach uh, Virginia got a couple of drives on you what adjustments do you have to make on defense? well we got to make sure we come out on defense stop the run game they've been killing us on the run game in a short passing game underneath so we got to go in and make sure we get good run support from the secondary and also make sure we take a quick passing game inside. What would you like to see your guys do different on offense? Well, basically come out and execute too many penalties in the first half. Way too many for us to have any success today and it's been killing us on some big plays and negated because we just little simple penalties. All right, Randy, thanks a lot. Randy Shannon headed to the locker room. His team trails the University of Virginia here in Charlottesville today. We're at halftime. It's 17 to 10. AC Thomas Jefferson was the first to push property values to the max with this 11,000 square foot home known as Monticello. 
construction began in 1769, and we got a chance to look at it yesterday. Just a few moments ago, our Mike Hogwood had an opportunity to have some words with Virginia head coach Al Groh. Thank you, Steve. Al, what adjustments, if any, did you make in, this, in the locker room? Well, quite a few, Mike. Obviously, we're not going to tell the world what we did uh, tactically, but most particularly, we need to play our best half of the season if we're going to win this game. Any one element that you think you need to do better in here in the second? No, we have to tighten up in all areas with our coaching, with our special teams, with our offense and defense, and that's our challenge. If we can play our best half of the season, uh, then things might take care of themselves. All right, all right. that's Al Gross, Steve. It's one of those things, uh, if I tell you, you have to kill you, so uh, <laughs> better to stay alive and we'll watch the second half. Good effort, Hoggy. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. You sure did, man. <laughs> We are ready to go. Here comes the kick by Hinkevine, and Benjamin is to get it a yard in play. And Travis Benjamin ridden out of bounds by Trey Womack. Want to remind you that ACC football is presented in high definition where available by MFS Investment Management. A diverse range of products so advisors can choose what fits. Let's see what fits the Miami offense here as they come out and take the field. At their own 23 yard line Robert Marr back at the controls talking to Patrick Nix There's his offensive coordinator the offensive coordinator as we said for Miami back on the field this year with so many youngsters in Javaris James good to see him back in the backfield after he limped off in the first half. Play action Marv to throw. In pursuit Jenkins. Picks up a blocker or two and gets ahead and close to the first down. Marv has pretty good running ability. It is Burrell and Childs who force him out of the pocket. Well, there are a number of ways to see how a good football player will react. As far as James, five, right here at the right side of the screen. Watch him come back and get a big block. Now, here's a guy coming off injury, sells out. Do you see guys giving effort? And that's why you see a completely rounded ball player. Got the 10, first down at the 33-yard line. 17 to 10 our score Virginia Miami with the ball James off right tackle and he pushes ahead to the 38 yard line. That'll be a gain of about five on the play. Nate Collins with the tackle. They scored the first time they had the ball after Virginia scored a field goal. Then two punts a field goal and then another punt for Randy Shannon's offense. Didn't get much going in the second quarter. Coming up on second down and six after the four yard gain by Javaris James. And off James captured. Soon as he got the football, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Nice tackle made on the play there by Vic Hall. Hall's had himself a ball game today so far. Ah, Vic's a man of many talents. One of the best high school football players. They were coming out of yeah, you better believe it. Now he's balling. All three big tackles, but they've been in the open field. Third down and six, no game. Yeah. Both teams have struggled on third down. Yep, Miami is one of six. Virginia not much better. Marv, no blitz. Pass picked off. In the flats, it's going to be, looks like Chase Minifield. Yep. His father, Frank, was a great all pro cornerback for the Cleveland Browns. Boy, he set on that one, set right on the sticks. By that, he knew exactly where the receiver had to go. Set there, jumped right in front of him. Again, that's a product of youth. Marv looks right, he's disappointed because he knows he's better than that. That wasn't even a hard pick. That was a gimme. And the ball sets up at the 44-yard line of Miami. Best field, second best field position for Virginia today. They got their best field position off the opening kickoff. Well, actually a punt. America back to throw. Sprints out and then just throws it into the ground at the feet of Pierman. And now there's a late flag in on Well, Romeo Davis, right linebacker here. for the Canes, he figured this one out. Now they say no flag. Ron Cherry may have interpreted originally that he was not outside the pocket. Yeah, good call. And here's Virginia, first half possessions. They punted, then got a field goal three plays later after they recovered the fumble on the punt. 
two good long touchdown drives of 74 and 80 yards sandwiched around three punts in the second quarter. But Al Gro told our Mike Hogwood we've got to play our best half of football here in the second half to pull off our fifth straight win. But it was Phillips across the formation rolling right to throw. Has a man pursuing him that's Wesley dodges the first guy gets to the tight end at Phillips. And a play that looked to be going nowhere came spot. That's why you have to like Barricut if you're a UVA fan. You can't block everybody all the time. The guy's got to make a play on his own. Harris on the tackle. This is the fourth catch by Phillips. I mean, you think that's going to be a sack. Wesley would like to have that one back. Did not. You make a play. Gain of four brings up third down and six. Virginia two of seven on third down. They have Covington split wide to the top side of the wide side of the field. To the short side, it's Ogletree. In motion to the wide side is Cox. The pass for Ogletree is overthrown, and Armour on single coverage, step for step. Hello, Armour. He's a senior from Memphis, uh, Tennessee. That was a showdown at the OK Corral. Yeah. We're coming. We, you and man, if you can do it, do it. And they took a shot at it off of by a couple of yards. But you, you got to do that. In order to win this, you got to take a few risks. Andy Shannon's changed things up at punt return. Travis Benjamin out. And Theron Collier is in. Jimmy Howell's been tremendous today. Four punts, 47.8, and a long of 58. And it's a short one. And he wants to put it inside the 20, head it inside the 10. And better yet, down to the six-yard line, so he gets the job done. Trey Womack downs it. Excellent kick. Not long, but it's the real estate that it covered and the spot of the field. You know you're a true Outback fan when you think the preseason is marinating our teriyaki sirloin before it's brushed with a sweet teriyaki glaze. One of our new fan favorites for a limited time. Crave on. This is Kirk Herbstreit. You know you're a true Outback fan when you think cutting up the middle means slicing into our Outback special sirloin. Big, bold flavor seared in. The kicker, just $9.99. Let's go Outback tonight. Crave on. It took me years to build good credit, but only a few minutes for someone to steal my identity and ruin it. With Wachovia, dedicated fraud specialists will work with you one-on-one -on -one to reclaim your identity, recoup your losses, and reestablish your financial reputation. Thankfully, there are people who care about my name as much as I do. I'm with Wachovia. Rated number one in satisfying customers. Wachovia. Want to see more ACC action? With the new ACC Select Service presented by Raycom Sports and CBS College Sports, you're just a click away. Watch your favorite sports live on your computer or catch all the action later with on-demand viewing. See exclusive features highlighting your favorite ACC teams and student athletes. Visit theacc.com or your favorite ACC school's official athletic website for more information. Chevrolet has always fit your life. And now your Chevy dealer offers financing that fits. Access to hundreds of competing banks to get you the financing you need at the best rate possible. And every pickup and SUV is available with an EPA estimated 20 MPG or better. Including these 08 Silverado half-ton models now with 5,000 purchase cash back. Trucks that fit, financing that fits. See your local Chevy dealer. Today's game is brought to you in part by Allstate. Well, the interception didn't hurt Miami, but it does determine their field position here. And they're at their own six, first and ten. Ray Cooper is back in the backfield. Play action to him. Pass to the flats is complete. And brought down by Sam Shields, junior out of Sarasota, Florida. He's an old man compared to the rest of the guys back there. Razai Dowling in on the tackle. <laughs> Sam had a real good effort on the deep ball in the last possession. He's got an arm, boy. He's got a rocket ship. Good space. When you're that open on a comeback, I mean, you've run a real disciplined route. 
13 yard gain 17 different receivers have caught balls this year better yet nine have caught seven or more There's Sam Shields as you look at him first and ten to the 13 yard gain to the 20 yard line A little screen over the head of Cooper Boy, he had some air on that. Oh, he, he, space. he had space. Childs was maybe five yards back. Yeah. He's head to the sidelines now, and Mike Hogwood. You'll remember their best lineman, Jason Fox, got hurt in the first half. They had listed his return as questionable. He has now been called out of the game. He has a knee injury. He is out for the rest of the game for Miami. And, of course, Randy Shannon hopes that that absence only is today because tougher games, as t or games as tough as this, are waiting. Oh, yeah. But they're lucky to have a Reggie Youngblood. I mean, Youngblood was coming back from that injury. Here's the pitch to Cooper trying to turn the corner and driving him out. Byron Glassby and Clint Simpson. See, UVA, they're playing with attitude today. I mean, they got a little bit of pepper in their grits this morning for breakfast. And you better bring it when you play Miami. But you got to be physical. That's just playing good defense. Simpson strings it out. Glassby closes quick. And then you get a finish. The Simpson, I mean, he, he's incredible. Miami, one of seven on third. Looking at third and 12. Down by a touchdown. Here comes Cooper. Blasts the head. Runs into Corey Mosley. He's got, he drops the football the and fumbles it. It's going to be Virginia. The third turnover of the day, the second of this quarter. For the Miami Hurricanes. Let's see if this is a strip or a drop. Terrific run. Oh, Cooper was on his way. He I was just about to praise, praise Okoop. No, Okoop can ball now. He tried to secure it. There's a hit. There's a, yep, there's Hall. Oh, they stood him you up. You got to give Vic Hall all the credit in the world. Thief in broad daylight. Tell you what, and Mosley held him up. Yeah, he dropped Glassby though. Put a shot on him. All right, first and ten for Virginia. An excellent field position again at the 34. Verica looking for the corner. Almost for Kevin Ogletree. Covering on the play, Bruce Johnson. Man, I, I mean, I, this is football at its best, as far as I'm concerned. And we just go with it. They let them play. And I like the fact that Mike Grow showed some guts. Go for it. You got a chance now to slip the throat. Put your opponent away. You don't want to see a check off. You want to go for it. That's exactly what he did. Great coverage. And Johnson was balling on that. One on one. Now we've played the first four and a half minutes of the second half entirely in Miami territory. At the 33. Barrick to throw. Quick pass complete. Comes down to Ogletree at the 21 yard line. And he's got the first down after a 12 yard gain. Sean Spence makes the tackle. He makes it look so easy. Missed last year. Can you imagine what he would have been like last year for the Cavaliers? Oh, yeah. As good as they were. With all the last second wins yeah. they pulled off. Yep. Yeah. He got some pressure. No hands in Barrett's face. That's Ogletree's third catch. He has 101 in his career for Virginia. First and 10 at the 21. Phillips time. And off Pierman. Ooh. Pierman strung out. Oh, nice play by Bruce Johnson. He strings out Pierman. Not many have been able to do that instead of Pierman this year. You better believe it. Boy, that was just a terrific effort. But see, the Hurricanes don't give up. You know, Romeo Davis comes in Look at him. with a bolo. I mean, he's, he's bringing lumber. And see, they pursue the ball, man, like a pack of wild animals. And that's exactly what you got to have. And they're doing it in a, in, in a pursuit angles are there. I mean, they're not playing health to scale the ball. They got a method to the madness. First for loss today. It's a loss of seven on the play. Second down and 18. Verica right down the center of the field for Covington. No. Ryan Hill covering on the play. Brings up third and 18. But they put the pressure on the free safety. Can you get back and help? Just Man, out of the reach. Yes, missed it. But I love aggressive play calling. 
Well, you right got now, it. Mike Groves going for it. You got an opportunity. You picked off a pass. You didn't get anything. This now is free. You came, you came back, got a fumble at their 33. You've only moved it four yards. Yeah, wow. no, sweepstakes. This That's guy right. knocks on your door and tells you you're a winner. <laughs> Ogletree is split wide out to the far side of the field. Verica looking to the right now, comes back to the left to Pierman in the flats. And Pyramid's going to be well shy of the first down, but he moves the ball up to the 20 yard line. Gives him a little bit better position here for the field goal attempt. Tackle made by Romeo Davis. And it'll be Ryering, the young man from Germany, a senior, He's finished his soccer eligibility, so comes on and kicks field goals out of the hold of Scott Dakey. Fourth down. This is going to be a kick of 38 yards. From the left half. It is up. And it is no good. Wide right. Ryering, who came into this game at five for eight and hit one earlier, misses this one. One for two on the day. And for the second time on a turnover, Virginia comes up with no points. Yep. Time out on the field. 9.33 left in the third. Virginia by seven. On RayComSports.com. First and ten for the Hurricanes. Out of the pocket, here comes Robert Marr, and he stumbles at the 16-yard line. Alex Field with great pressure as they force him for a loss on the sack. Miami has had three turnovers in this game. It started on the first punt of the game as Travis Benjamin couldn't get out of the way there. The pick here by Chase Minifield, and then the fumble after a nice game by Greg Cooper. Robert Marv with the reaction to those plays. Despite the three turnovers, Miami has only given up three points. Game's first sack brings up second down and 14. And off straight ahead. It's going to be Cooper. And he gets some of the yardage that was lost on the sack out to the 22-yard line. I think that's the key to Miami's success. They don't seem to like to do it a lot, but I mean, they've got two guys in there. Cooper's impressive. James, we know. And they can run the ball right at you. They're big, they're strong. You know, and sometimes you just have to reduce your limitations in this and just turn it back into, you know, a fight. Miami looking, pa uh, Virginia looking for pass here from Miami. And they go with a draw, deep handoff, ball is loose. And who's got it? Looks like Marv. Virginia. Marr picked it up and surged ahead and saved what could have been a damaging fourth turnover. Antonio Appleby stripped the ball loose. It's recovered by Marr. That's great effort. Great effort. Because you're right. He had bad intentions on that tackle. Oh, he did. He pulled it off. Tackle eventually made by Kevin Crawford. And here comes Bosher to punt. Vic Hall is back in punt formation for Virginia. Line of scrimmage is the 26. A rocket. Or his release man got off clean. Here comes Hall from his own 16. Hall threads his way to the middle of the field and brings the crowd to its feet, driven down at the 31 yard wow. line. Right between them. It's going to be a 57 yard punt by Matt Bosher, a 15 yard return. Timeout on the field. Virginia 17 10 back at this word from your local ACC station. Fox Saturday. An arrest turns into a vocabulary lesson. I didn't obstruct nothing. Do you know what obstructing means? No. All new cops, part of a full hour. Then, were these two sisters brutally gunned down by their own father? All they wanted was to be loved. All new America's Most Wanted. Tonight, starting at 8 on Fox 35. Would you get on a plane with a pilot who has never flown? Would you trust your child with someone who has never cared for children? Would you go under with a surgeon who has never operated? Can you hand your nation to a man who has never been in charge of anything? Can you wait while he learns? The Republican National Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. I'm Dorothy Hugo. As a mother and former teacher, I know our children's education must be our first priority. We can't let partisan bickering, revenue shortfalls, and the school board letting our teachers down stand between our children and the education they deserve. 
I will always put our children first and fight extremists in either party who put partisan politics above our kids. I'm Dorothy Huckel. Our children are worth fighting for. Would Gary Siplin lie? Of course he would. His TV ad is full of lies about Belinda Ortiz. Siplin will do anything to distract attention from his eight years of indictment, conviction, arrest warrant for not paying child support, and funneling tax dollars to his wife. Siplin will do anything to win. He'll do anything to beat this woman. Change starts right here in our community. It's time for Siplin to go. Shop at SK Menswear for great deals this week, including 25 to 60% off select menswear. Visit SKMenswear.com to shop online and find a selection near you. Phillips out front on first and 10. Well, Bill Young, the coordinator for the Cage, decided to turn up the heat. The time set the backers. And Verica, you mentioned this about last week how quickly he gets rid of the ball. It's hard to get to him now. It is. And there is Glenn Cook. Kind of reminds you like a, a Kurt Warner. Yeah. Dumps it off yeah, quick. it off quick. They've hit him. Yep. But I don't think they've sacked. Pierman on second and one gets the first down. He's out to the 43 yard line. And Brandon Harris comes in on the tackle along with Marcus Robinson. The Miami's had horrible field position. And unless they get a stop in the next three plays, that's going to continue. Well, you credit their second interception or their second, their third turnover of the day for giving them that. Even though Virginia did not score, was able to kick them deep to the six. But a defense gives them a chance. The Cavaliers moving the football now. Verica back to throw. Has time. Has a man open. No, that was Pierman, and he couldn't pull it in. Nobody out there. He would have had another first down. Had he caught. Again, we've seen when teams don't take advantage of those gimmies. That's a gimme. You drop it. Now we'll see what happens. It's it's so difficult. Uh, that's why with all the work you put in all week, there's nothing automatic about this game. I mean, every play. Oh yeah. You just hope that you know it works your way. You see the scoreboard of scores around the country. Minnesota Northwestern still tied up. Arkansas leading unbeaten Tulsa. And Ole Miss now leads Auburn 10 0. Wow. It's gone from bad to worse for the Tigers. Man. New offense. Second down and 10. Here comes the reverse. And this is Ogletree. They run it to the left side this time. And the result isn't nearly as good. Not happy. Verica tried to throw a block, but he couldn't get in the way of Marcus Forston and Marcus Robinson. Well, they scored on that coming near side. Yeah. You know, in the first half. And, and I understand why you make the call. Take advantage of Miami and how they fly to the ball. But even their big people were in on that one, leading the charge with fourth. Marcus, young Marcus, who's a big one, boy. I'll tell you what, he'll be there. And he can run. They got a 16 yard touchdown the first time. This time they lose seven. And that brings up third and 17. Virginia is two for nine on third down. Draw play, Pierman. Hung up at the line of scrimmage and gets back to the original line of scrimmage, the 42. It's about seven. Yep, got seven, then brings a the punter on. Carlos Armour, number 27, in on the tackle now for Miami. And Jimmy Howell, who belted a 58 yarder in the first half and has squeezed them inside the 20. Matter of fact, inside the 10 twice. Might he be UVA's MVP thus far? Right now, since the midway point of the first yeah. half, yes, yeah. he has. There's Theron Collier. He's going to be back to get the kick. Howell, a true freshman out of Florence, South Carolina. The Cavaliers are letting the Hurricanes hang around. They've had chances to put him away. This one pushes Collier away, and it goes against a Virginia player and falls down at the 16-yard line. Well, we got some uh, Chick-fil-A wings and... What do you buy for the chicken eater as everything? How about Chick-fil-A gift cards and Chick-fil-A trays? A tray like that, I could swallow down. Chick-fil-A trays, perfect for game days, birthdays, and Mondays. Reloadable Chick-fil-A gift cards. A great gift. 
burning one. Well, today our Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. This is the fifth annual National College Football Day. Celebrating 139 years of college football. November 8, 1869. Nearly 100 spectators, including Doc and I, witnessed the first college football game ever between Rutgers and Princeton. Oh, it was day. cold. Oh, it was cold that day. Uh, ran out of cigars. It was awful. Ja'Cory Harris on the third series of this second half comes in and throws a completion to Theron Collier. And he's going to be marked out of bounds at about the 22-yard line. Clint sent him on the tackle. Well, <laughs> sent him once again. You watch him here in the stand-up position. He gets a check. Watch the lateral pursuit. He gets out, waiting on the cutback. When you play the Canes, you got to be looking for cuts because they'll cut that thing back. Second down and two. Thon, uh, Sean Bray McNeil is the third running back to stand in that backfield for Miami this afternoon. Corey Harris takes the high snap and is going to get sacked. Alex Field, Clint Sinton, names you know very well, along with Matt Conrad. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Alex Field has played like a barbarian today. <laughs> I mean, he has been a guy that they can't stop when they need to. He's been disrupted, and that's what you want out of your defensive line. Two, I mean, two sacks for Virginia, both by Field today. When Long graduated, the Gerald gone, there's no way I thought the Cavaliers could, could be this dominant up front. Third down and 11. Miami, one of nine on third. One of ten on the incompleted pass. Brings up fourth down, and field position has reared its head in Virginia's favor. They had a second down and two. Second and two, second and one, you know. But again, when you don't want to line up and knock somebody off the ball, get a first down it's just way and, they, and look they're very successful at it yes, they are. but I just think you know sometimes the simplest route is the easiest route Bosher is on line drive Hall at the 40 and he calls for the fair catch it's gonna be a 40 yard punt with no return this football season, it's all about you, 10 friends, and a private jet. Sounds like a movie. Enter the all tell my surf gridiron getaway for your chance to take 10 friends on a private jet to any regular season game. The ultimate VIP experience. For your chance to win, text ACC to 57533 or visit alltellfootball.com. Do it soon. We only have a month left in the regular season. Does Mike Hogwood get to write that off by donating his G5? You know, I think so. That's a good deal. <laughs> oh, oh inside pitch to Simpson. They are lucky that that play did not blow up. <laughs> Robinson did his best to try to get in there and blow it up himself. Marcus Robinson, the two freshmen from Homestead, Florida. Yeah, that's a crazy play, man. I've seen people working to have success with it. It takes a lot of courage. I don't know if I can call that one. Second down. Both of these offensive coordinators, Mike Rowe and Patrick Nix, are... <laughs> Well, they're quarterbacks. Let's yeah. see the quarterbacks. So they're used to this. I mean, these guys live under fire their whole life. They've been getting people rushing them and hitting them and doing all those crazy things. Green split wide to the short side of the field. Barrick up, big blitz on, pass complete to Cope. And he has it up to about the 23-yard line. Romeo Davis on the tackle. We talked about a quick release. Watch this. He had to. Boy, I hear Glenn Cook and watch him come in. He ends up a little banged up. Boy, that's a clear space oh. to the quarterback. No helmet to helmet. He did it the right way, but he's nicked up now. That'd be a huge loss for the Hurricanes. Outside release. That's a planned game. Comes in, gets a good bump shot, but he didn't get the kill shot. Leading tackler with 50 coming in here today. Third down and six. Virginia with the ball. They are two of ten on third down, but they lead here 17 to 10. Verica, three-step drop. Pass to Green complete. Flag down on the play. Green with a completion, covering was Demarcus Van Dyke. Let's see what the flag is at the 38-yard, 42-yard line of Virginia of uh, Miami. Well, he got a penalty on him. The Hurricanes can sense if you play defense now, you know you got to almost make a play on your own, score some points. The penalty is against Miami. The 14-yard gain. 
That's a first big play either side in the second half. Here the receiver is interfered with oh, and makes the play. Pass on the first. Defense number eight. This is spot down. Automatic first down. Yeah, Van Dyke is on Jerry Green. That shotgun. A little wide rush. Green comes out of the route, locates the ball, finds it well, tries to keep the feet in. The infraction happened earlier. The concentration is superb after being hit by Van Dyke. First and ten, ball at the Miami 38. Pitch to Simpson, hits the corner. And Sean Spence drags him out of bounds for a loss of maybe one. Smart move by Spence. Spence could have thrown him into those dime seats. Yep. And that would have been a flag. You know the temptation is there, especially playing defense. You're holding people down. They've kept the Cavaliers off the board, and they can't get any help out of their offense. And watch this. The young guy gets it. No horse collar. Kind of lets it up. Saves himself. Saves himself for another play. Ogletree is back into the lineup, and he'll be lining up to the near side. He's in the slot to the top of the field. Dontrell Illman outside his shoulder. On second, pass is complete to Coke. And Terry Coke closes on for the first down. He's got about to the 33 of five yard gain. And Chavez Grant with the tackle. Today's game is brought to you in part by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Lovely day here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Sunny temperatures in the low 70s. Shirt sleeve day, rarity in November, these parts. Third down five. Final minute of the play here in the third quarter. Virginia up by seven, and they're in Miami it. territory. Here they come. Blitz is on. The green incomplete. Step for step was Brandon Harris. Well, I haven't seen Virginia throw this many balls upfield in a long while. I love it. I just think the fact that you go for it because they're in a dog fight right now. This game is very, very close. Gets good pass pro. Verica tosses out. Green in man. He's watching the ball. Just couldn't quite get to it. Excellent coverage by Brandon Harris. Brings up a fourth down and about five. And the Cavaliers are not thinking field goal. They're thinking getting the first down. They'll gladly give Miami the ball here at the 33 if they don't get it. Why wouldn't you? They put it the last five times. America to throw. Looks at Simpson. Comes back to him. Comes back to the second man through. It is complete. And that is Jared Green. Second big pass reception of the day. The first was a touchdown. This one for a first down. And this is all pass pro. See, Green gets bumped up. He watches it. Now watch him direct. He direct. Changes the direction. Go catch it. Look it all the way in. And find the marker. The key is that where is the pressure? Keynes gets stymied. Green comes off the reaction. Excellent play by a young receiver. Well, Bill Young told us this week that he's not satisfied with the pass pressure that his front four gives him. America to throw again. This one to the flats. It is complete. No, they say out of bounds to Maurice Covington. Covington ruled out of bounds. Stops the clock with 20 seconds left here in this third quarter. Well, that was a stare down. The stare down was fourth down. Yeah. That's the stare down. And you can't get any heat on the quarterback. And, you know, nobody can cover anybody with no time. With, you know, with that much time. And you look at it from Cliff, Cliff Armour's situation. He's out there defending. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then yeah. a guy makes a double hitch. And he's still going to defend two more sides. Verica, 21 of 33. Second down and 10. And off Simpson. Captured as soon as he got it. Antonio Dixon, the senior from Miami. His second tackle for loss. But one thing Miami has done is that, for the most part, neutralized Pyramid. That's the end of the third quarter of play. Miami's defense starting to stiffen. Most of the third quarter was played in their end of the field. The fourth quarter in this Coastal Division showdown between Miami and Virginia is coming up.
when you touch down at Hampton, you wake up a winner. That's right, Tracy. <laughs> Thanks for their complimentary hot breakfast. Omelet. Sausage. French toast sticks. I love French food and sticks. It took me years to build good credit, but only a few minutes for someone to steal my identity and ruin it. With Wachovia, dedicated fraud specialists will work with you one-on-one -on -one to reclaim your identity, recoup your losses, and reestablish your financial reputation. Thankfully, there are people who care about my name as much as I do. I'm with Wachovia. Rated number one in satisfying customers. Wachovia. You know you're a true Outback fan when you think the preseason is marinating our teriyaki sirloin before it's brushed with a sweet teriyaki glaze. One of our new fan favorites for a limited time. Crave on. This is Kirk Herbstreit. You know you're a true Outback fan when you think cutting up the middle means slicing into our Outback special sirloin. Big, bold flavor seared in. The kicker, just $9.99. Crave on. The Suzuki SX4 crossover gets 30 miles per gallon highway, has a pop-up Navi, available all-wheel drive, and starts under 16,000. So just because there's a gas crisis, doesn't mean there has to be a fun crisis. The Suzuki SX4. Live large, drive small. Suzuki. Now get 0% financing on all 2009 Suzuki SX4s. Hurry in. When you touch down at Hampton, you wake up a winner. That's right. Thanks for their friendly service. They even remembered my name. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> that you will never know. Smart move, Tracy. <laughs> Seriously, what's your name? Get ready for the fourth quarter. Last night, our crew dined at Little John's, and they were looking for the Chris Long sub. Oh, there it is. It's so big, it lines up in the opposite line of scrimmage. <laughs> as soon as you have it, Alex Van Martino, Joe Bowie, the guys out there enjoying the Chris Long sub. And uh, having themselves a night on the town on Halloween in Charlottesville. We start the fourth with a score Virginia 17 to 10. Over the Miami Hurricanes Virginia now third down and 14 they're at the Miami 31. It's the tenth play of the drive. Pierman in the flats. But the pass was high to allow Sean Spence to come up and make a stop after only one yard. Brings up fourth and 14. Let's take a look at our third quarter stats. Brought to you by AT&T. Rushing yards, 124 to 72. The turnovers, though, three for Miami, but only three points yeah. That's for the Virginia. That's the difference in this. And the fact that the Hurricanes have played spirited defense. Get a behind-the-scenes look at some of your favorite teams and players at at and slash sports. The kick is 47 yards by Ryering, and it is no good. Get a handle. It looked like that was not a real clean exchange on the snap and hold. That's a second miss of the day by Yannick Ryering. And it kills the Virginia drive. They get no points here. It's been a scoreless third quarter. Getting ready for the fourth quarter. As the hold, Dakey makes the operation. And Ryring just shanked it off to the right. Johnny, look at all this fresh seafood. It's the key to our newest creation, Risotto di Mare. Fresh clams, mussels, shrimp, and scallops. Fresh seafood's the most important part. And making the risotto rich and creamy. And it's these Italian spices that give this a little Carabas kick. I love a kick, Johnny. I know. I like all these combinations of flavors that makes our risotto di mare an authentic Italian dish. At Carabas, good things happen around our table. Strength is power. Introducing the all-new TL, the most powerful Acura ever built. 
It just feels like a million dollar vacation. Now more than ever, it's important to know that Alabama's Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail is a huge bargain. In fact, Golf Digest named the trail the number one value in the country. This fall, play three days of unlimited golf for just $195. Our incredible fall special will make you feel like a million bucks without spending much green. Call 800-949-4444 or visit rtjgolf.com to book your fall getaway. Hey, man, what's up with the court? Well, it's a nice day out. Thought I'd come over here with my cable internet. You know, if you had AT&T, you'd get high-speed internet service at thousands of hotspots for free. This ain't working out so bad. Plus, the neighborhood kids really enjoy it. Cinderella dressed in yellow. <laughs> Not this time, Johnny! Stop! It's easy to beat cable with AT&T. Enjoy free access to the nation's largest Wi-Fi network when you sign up for high-speed internet from AT&T. Today's game is brought to you in part by Allstate. 14-19 left in the fourth quarter. Miami first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Trailing here 17-10. But they consider the sounds to be very fortunate. Cooper straight ahead and he gets out to about the 34-yard line. Kel Simpson heads to the locker room with a, in his arm in a sling. Looked like he hit his shoulder. And that's uh, bad news for Virginia. Simpson was the savior on many Saturday afternoons last season. Oh, a year ago. How about the win against Maryland at Maryland? He was pure oxygen. 14 play March. He carried 13 plays, including the go ahead touchdown for the win. Second down, six for Miami. Harris to Cooper, bust through with daylight. And brought down by Mosley at the 50 yard line, but not before he's cracked off a 17 yard game. Yeah, see, this is this is what I was talking about, Steve. I mean, you know, this thing may not have no style points, but I tell you what it has. It's physical. Look at this. Wow. Now I don't know how cute it is, <laughs> but I do know this. You can win with it. You can drive a truck through it. You can it. drive a truck through that. They got all these big old studs, and they're out here trying to put glitter all over the offense. You come off the ball, knock people off the ball. Johnson wide to the short side of the field and Benjamin wide to the wide side of the field on first and ten at midfield. Harris hands off to Cooper. You see a good thing why stop. Ahead four yards down to the Virginia 46 yard line. He's terrific back. Lynn sends him on the tackle. Terrific back. I mean he's showing us this guy you know he's not a fragile back. They don't have fragile back. They've got guys that run in there like madmen. But you got to give them an opportunity to do it. Our first and ten line brought to you by SeatExchange.com, the official ticket exchange partner of the ACC. Cooper and Houston are in the backfield now for Jacory Harris. Second down and six. And off Cooper. And coming off a block nicely to get him after a two-yard gain is going to be Nate Collins. Oh, well, they said enough of that. But that's what they did. They challenged. Virginia's manhood. They're coming right at him. Now they got another team down. Yep, that's Chris Rutledge. He's the right tackle. They've already lost Man. their left tackle, John, uh, Jason Fox, today. So Miami training staff getting a workout with offensive linemen. They're going to run out of these guys. Timeout on the field. 12 25 left to go in the fourth here at Virginia. Cavaliers over the Canes by seven. A new day is coming and new ways to meet our area's growing energy needs. Because Progress Energy is using innovative and environmentally responsible solutions, including solar power, alternative energy like eGrass, and energy-saving efficiency programs for clean, reliable, affordable power and a future that's always bright. Progress Energy, looking at power in a new light. Johnny, look at all this fresh seafood. It's the key to our newest creation, Risotto di Mare. Fresh clams, mussels, shrimp, and scallops. Fresh seafood's the most important part. And making the risotto rich and creamy. And it's these Italian spices that give this a little Carabas kick. I love a kick, Johnny. I know. I like all these combination of flavors that makes our Risotto di Mare an authentic Italian dish. At Carabas, good things happen around our table. 
The new ACC online store is the place to get all of your officially licensed ACC championship gear and team apparel. With a huge selection of top brands, the new ACC online store is where you'll find jerseys, t-shirts, hats, official sideline apparel, and more. The new ACC online store is where ACC fans get everything they need. The Hyundai Santa Fe has impressive features like room for seven, available all-wheel drive, and America's best warranty. But the most impressive feature of all, 24 miles per gallon. After all, what good is a crossover utility vehicle if you can't afford to drive it? Right now, get up to $3,500 cash back on a fuel-efficient 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe. See your local Hyundai dealer today for this and other outstanding values. Today's game brought to you by Altel, official wireless partners of fans. Third down coming up and four. Miami one of ten on third down. They need one here. Down by seven. And off goes to McNeil. I think they got off the ball a little. Maybe a smith too quick. Yep, flag down on the play. Now maybe Virginia declines this because it's short of the first down or no? That's the option. That's the field position Miami's had all day. Yeah. I mean, all second half. Well, yeah, that, that is the best. They started this drive at their own 33. Yeah. That is their best field position. Yeah. Everything before down for me at this point. Miami with eight penalties, 61 yards. They're facing third down and nine. McNeil still in the backfield. 17 to 10, Virginia. This game has been a game of missed opportunities, and third down has. Brought it into focus for Miami. Play action, Ja'Cory Harris. Him. Got him in the corner. Got the reception. Travis Benjamin with the reception or no? Got away from him. Yep, got away from him. Razai Dowling covering on the play. Pass incomplete. Harris stalks off the field. And here he is again. Werewolf in it, coming around. I mean, it's, it's, it's not fair. He did well to hold up. Yeah, but you're not going to come off the bench not having not played and block Clint Sitton. If that was the case, you should have been in the game. Fourth down, Bosher back to punt. Gets a rocket off. And it is called for on the fair catch by Vic Hall at the 13 yard line. 35 yard punt, but it gets Virginia inside the 20. And look at the Hampton Hotel's upcoming schedule. Here's what Miami's got left after today. Virginia Tech in 13 days, so they have an off week coming. Then Georgia Tech at Atlanta, and then they finish the season at NC State. So only one home game in their remaining four. As far as Virginia is concerned, they are at Wake Forest next week. We may have that game for you. We'll know tomorrow. Then on the 22nd, their final home game against Clemson. They wrap up the season at Virginia Tech, and there'll be a lot on the line for that game, especially if Virginia is able to hold on and win today. First and 10 from the 13. Verica. Nice pattern and the reception by Ogletree at the 42. Kevin Ogletree with a double move shook off the defender and got himself upfield to the 44 yard line. A 29 yard pass reception by Kevin Ogletree, his fourth of the day. Just great reaction to the football. Pretty good pass, bro. See, he finds it and then you get another slip. Hurricanes have slipped more than the Cavaliers have slipped in this ballgame. Opportunities by both teams missed. Virginia picked up a fumble, intercepted a pass, got nothing out. Fourth, and they're driving for a decisive score. Pass complete to the tight end, Phillips. He's over midfield and close to a first down, and he may have it at the Miami 46-yard line. And let's not kid ourselves. The Cavaliers are a field goal away from into this. Oh, yeah. Because Miami can't get first downs, let alone score. But, but you know, it's only going to last for so long. Miami now has to force a fortune turnover. Now, I, I, did, I was very pleased with their last offensive possession. I mean, they got back to basics. They had some success. They just didn't make a play. First and 10 at the 46 yard line of Miami. Play action for Verica. Goes out to throw. Has a man out there. Covington, and he overthrows it. 
Coverage by Anthony Reddick. Wow, he had it. He did. Wow, he had it. A couple of times it's come up short. Mark Barrick has been on the money. There's the pass to Jared Green for a touchdown. This big third down play to first by John Phillips. And then another catch by Jared Green, his second of the day from Mark Barricka, who's been pretty efficient. Barricka on the afternoon, 24 of 37, 202 yards. Well, we also haven't mentioned Eugene Monroe, this stud of a left tackle for UVA, and that's because he's been walking the dog all afternoon. Second down and 10. Barricka to the sidelines. Looks like it's going to be complete to Ogletree at the 35 yard line. It'll be good enough for the first down. Mark That's Barrett. Outstanding. Look, crossing route. He goes in, zeroes in the catch. Watch the tap. Concentration, eyes on the ball. Looks at him, oh, gets yeah. the tap. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was similar to the one he caught in the first half. They said was out of that. That's a lot like it. It sure did. LeVon pondered. Covering on the play, the fifth catch by Ogletree. First and ten at the 35-yard line. Pierman gets the call off right tackle. Romeo Davis rides him down at the 31-yard line. Also helped out by Alan Bailey. With a gain of three on the play at the 32. Let's send it to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Steve, you just saw Mike L. Simpson go to the locker room a moment ago. We asked Al Groh, what's Simpson's role in this? And he says, to play whenever Pierman gets tired. Well, they don't have Simpson now, so it looks like it's uh, Pierman's game here late in the fourth quarter, but this is a guy who's handled it for a number of years. Yes, he has. Cedric Pierman, his return. No coincidence to Virginia's success of four straight wins. 14 carries, 71 yards, second down and seven. Barica against the blitz. Pass complete to the tight end. That's John Phillips. That's going to be his sixth catch of the day. Short sets a new career high. It's short of the first down, yes. But with the pressure that was put on Barica, oh, yeah. lucky to get rid of it. Yeah. And he didn't have to take a beat either. That's Wally at Jomo. In on the tackle and coverage of the tight end. But that is a good one, but he has not been a factor rush the passer, and you can credit Eugene Monroe for that. Third down and two. Covington in motion. Blitz is on. Verica steps out, but he can't step away from Allen Bailey. He got rid of the first guy. That was Hendricks. The second guy, though, Bailey, is the guy who got it. And again, front four pressure. And I know history says when we see this uniform, we expect to see a lot of this. I mean, this is old school Canes getting after you. First sack of the day for the Miami Hurricanes, and it's important that it came from their front four. Yeah. Fourth down, loss of 13 on the sack, and it carries them well out of field goal range and brings the punter, Jimmy Howell, on. 8-17 left to go. You got a feeling, Doc, something's left to happen. Yeah, something left to happen. Something big. Well, they could score and get two and be up on this. That's why you, know, you think sooner or later. Howell gets it inside the 20, takes a nice bounce. Excellent punt by Howell. It's the third punt by Jimmy Howell that he's punched inside the 10 today. He is a weapon. Timeout on the field. The Virginia Cavaliers go back on defense with a one touchdown lead. This is the ruggedly re-engineered Ranger XP. The smoothest ride ever. A new level of comfort and convenience. It can get up and go where others can't follow. It just goes to show the more things change, one thing remains the same. The new Ranger. Hardest working, smoothest riding. Again, hurry in to your local dealer to see the new 2009 Ranger lineup. This man brought his wife here today for an intervention because he knows she wants to birth children simply for German engineering. What? No, no, we just came here to look at the root It's because he cares. He cares about the fact that each day in this country another 10,000 babies are born just for German engineering. But you just made that up right now. What are you talking about? Oh, it's okay. What's your name? Becky? Please, don't be like Becky. Sign Then Drive is back. For limited time, Lisa Rutan for practically just your signature. The finest leather boots are at Big Joe's Boots.
Introducing the bigger, tastier chicken strips with our new Chick-fil-A sauce. Would Gary Siplin lie? Of course he would. His TV ad is full of lies about Belinda Ortiz. Siplin will do anything to distract attention from his eight years of indictment, conviction, arrest warrant for not paying child support, and funneling tax dollars to his wife. Siplin will do anything to win. He'll do anything to beat this woman. Change starts right here in our community. It's time for Siplin to go. This broadcast is a copyright presentation of Raycom Sports. Any use without the express permission of the Atlantic Coast Conference and Raycom Sports is prohibited. Steve Martin, Doc Walker, Mike Hogwood in Charlottesville. Miami with the ball 95 yards away from the end zone at their own five. To Corey Harris is in. Play action from his end zone. Pass to the flats. New. Intended for Patrick Hill. Well. Virginia held the ball for five and a half minutes. They came up empty because a 12 yard sack took them out of field goal range. Take that and add it to the two turnovers that they were able to obtain and didn't get anything from those either. And you're going to wonder at the end of the day, if Virginia's going to rue these missed opportunities. As you see the scoreboard, Arkansas, 10 point lead on unbeaten Tulsa today. Our score 17 10, Virginia with Miami with a football, second and 10. Handoff goes to Cooper and he's flattened in the backfield. Nice tackle made in the backfield by Nate Collins. Nate's making big plays in, in multiples now. I mean, that's just beating man. Man, oh man, he wins the battle on that one against A.J. Trump and gets to the ball carrier. Second loss for Cooper today. Third down and 13. Miami has been awful on third down today. One out of 11. I wonder is Marv hurt? Shield split wide to the top. Johnson to the bottom. Back to throw. Ja'Cory Harris looking left. It is complete. The mark is going to be a bottle on the mark. Sam Shields with a completed pass. And he's going to be marked out at the or down at the 19 yard line. It's a 13 actually more of a gain than that. It's uh, about a 15 a 13 yard gain out of the 15. Well it's a huge play. And Harris needed to make this. His last one was on the money. He received it and hold it in. This is big. Miami's not been beyond the Virginia 44 in this second half. That's the second third down conversion and now we got a penalty and Chris Zellner might have gotten across a little quick. Cross of the snap. False start. 88. Offense. That's the ninth penalty of the day for the Miami Hurricanes. Chris is a senior so we can't say you did that. No. Anxiety did it. Well. I mean, I can't even get over this game is so much in the balance now. One of these two teams can easily go to Tampa. It doesn't seem like anybody wants it. <laughs> First and 15. Pass to the flats. The Shields is complete. Razai Dowling is there to make the stop after about a five yard gain. And it'll bring up second down and nine. Our Polaris Ranger hardest working player of the week is Clint Sinton. 27 career sacks. That's the most by any UVA linebacker. And he has done a great job here today. <laughs> Sinton, the fifth year senior out of Woodbridge, Virginia. Number five in the NCAA and number one in the ACC in sacks. Second down and nine now for the Hurricanes. I'm going to name something over Garfield High School after. <laughs> Harris Virginia showing blitz here he comes they do it back to throw Harris complete right where the man came from to the fullback Hill when he gets the first down Big Patrick play. Hill Dowling made sure he stayed flat on the ground but it's a 10 yard gain and it moves the chains for the Hurricanes Pat Hill Pat Hill started running like he was on diesel fuel but once he got it going <laughs> he was hard to break down I thought again sent him 
speeds up the play. See, old Pat, but once he got going, boy, he dropped the load right there at the end on Dowling. Hill with the first down, first and 10. Ball at the 26. Play action for Ja'Cory Harris. Fires into the flats. Complete for Benjamin. At the 42-yard line of Miami. Tell you what. Gain of 16. He put that on. Now, that was a throw. That was a great throw. Yeah, he'd been throwing, throwing them lollipops. That time, boy, he threw an icicle. This is what you got to do to beat good defensive back. Frozen rope. That's a great throw. Right on the money. 18 yards, 16 yard gain brings up first and 10 at the 42 yard line. 449 and counting. Miami with all of its timeouts remaining. And off goes to Cooper. Pursued by Childs, but flattened finally by Razai Dowling. And he's a yard shy of midfield at the 49 yard line. Today's game brought to you in part by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Well, I'll tell you what, um, Childs also saved that play. Great pursuit. Second down and four. Harris to Cooper. And Cooper blasts ahead and is close to the first down, and I think they're going to give it to him. In Virginia territory at the 47-yard line, big haul on the tackle. Let's send it to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Well, Doc, you were asking about Robert Marv a moment ago. I just checked. He's fine. This is a coach's decision to keep Harris in there. Remember, Harris led these Canes to a win coming from behind against Duke earlier this season. Yeah, no, they're both capable. I was just checking on the status. And the way <laughs> Jacory's throwing it right there, there's no need to make a move because he, he is firing the football now. Shields wide right, Johnson wide left. First and ten on the Virginia side of the football field. And we got a whistle. And Miami yep. pulled out early. Young blood. Yep, young blood was a step back Possible before snap. the ball was snapped. False start, 77 offense. That's a five-yard penalty. Let's look at the quarterback comparison between Marv and Harris today. Marv, six of twelve. 91 yards and an interception. Harris, better percentage. 7 of 12, 79 yards. More importantly, no interceptions. Problem is different voice inflection. Right. And it's just hard as a, on the offensive line. You just have to really concentrate more. Tenth penalty now makes it first and 15. Hand off deep. Goes to McNeil. Not much there. Clint sent him in on the tackle. You know, all season long, we're following the road to Tampa Bay in the ACC football championship in Tampa, December 6th. Virginia leads the Coastal Division, looking to go for the first time to the title game. It'll be a tight race to the finish. If Virginia wins today, it'd be their fifth straight win, and their record would be 4 and 1 in conference. And that would be a pretty commanding lead. Second down, 14 for Miami. Still plenty of time for the Canes to have a say in this battle, though. 2.42 left. Play action. Over the middle, pass is complete. And brought down by Aldarius Johnson. A pass completion of 19 moves the chains, and now you come in a field goal ring. Well, we talk about Youngblood when he jumped offside. Now watch him do, do his thing. At the snap, he gets good pass protection. So you see him fighting there, kind of at the end to your left side. Big fella, when you are that big and you got to bend over and stuff at 340, boy, that's rumbling. And that's not easy to do. Excellent job. First down at the 33. Miami needs a touchdown, not a field goal. There's seven back. Back to throw. Harris pressured. Pass is complete to Cooper. And Cooper wrestled down by Dowling. At the 36-yard line, it'll be a loss of two. Pressure on the play by Nate Collins. As you call that, boy, Big Nate rumbling right up the pipe. One thing you can see that Jacory, he has a real good feel for it. He's not, not flustered by pressure. But the cleats, I got, is it me? Or the Canes have slipped more than the Cavaliers? Something like this. 11th play of the drive. 
Lost three on the play, brings up second down and 13. Miami has sucked six seconds, six minutes off this clock. And if they don't score, they may deprive themselves of time. Here's Cooper. Cooper down the middle. And Cooper has the first down as they approach the red zone to the 21-yard line. Vic Hall in on the tackle with Corey Mosley, but Cooper rambled for 14. Young blood, slow to get up. Tell you one thing, Cooper showed me, man. He's a prime time baller. Great job up front. Trump there with the block. You see the Cavaliers. I mean, this is a dog fight. You got helmets here on the ground. Guys getting their heads literally, literally knocked off during the play. Well, head gear knocked off. <laughs> it did sound pretty good on it. Get your head knocked in. Got somebody's attention. We got a timeout on the field called by Miami. Next Saturday, we'll know tomorrow where we'll be. It'll be one of three places. Clemson at Florida State to take the Seminoles off. Or Georgia Tech at North Carolina for a Coastal Division clash. Or we'll follow these Virginia Cavaliers as they move out of their division to the Atlantic to take on Wake Forest. We'll know tomorrow. Check Monday morning in your local papers to find out where our Raycom ACC football game of the week is going to be. Three big possibilities, all crucial to the conference race. And all Friday night good eating. Everybody. There's some good eating, boy. <laughs> 12 plays, 74 yards, 646, and so far, no points for the Miami Hurricanes. First and 10, final minute of play coming. Harris out there, he's got a man in the end zone. That's Johnson. He overthrew him. He got a flag down. Flag down on the play. Like a move for the kid. It just seemed like. Prior to the snap. Prior to the snap. False start. Yeah. Number 70 offense. Yeah, the guards five yard up. penalty. He's been quick the whole second half. Bangkok, the 11th Raider. penalty. Please reset. For Randy one, one, five. Miami Hurricanes. Virginia has only one. Virginia's played a mistake free ball game for the most part. Yeah. But they have not been able to cash in on opportunities offered them by Miami this afternoon. And that's why they're sweating things out here at their own 23 yard line. Well, the Hurricanes are going to be so good, it's going to be frightening down the road. <laughs> I'm telling you. They are. Because they're in here going backwards, and yet they're still in the ball game with a chance to tie or win. And I'll tell you what, Virginia's going to be good for a while, too. Virginia is good. They're Jen good right now. Jenkins is a red shirt freshman. Yep. Benjamin to the top. Wilson is inside in the slot. But they didn't have the knockout punch today. Harris has hit his last five passes. Cooper, the running back. First and 15 from the 26. Play action for Harris. Back to throw to the flats. It goes. It's incomplete. Intended there for Aldarius Johnson. As I Dowling covering on the play. That stops the clock with a minute 10 left to go. Miami with two timeouts. They need seven, actually eight to win. Seven to send this thing into overtime. And there's not any area when you look at Virginia's defense, you can go, oh, okay, well, let's just do this to the work. Yeah. It ain't happening. No, it's no, not. They're going to have to earn this. It's not going to be a gimme. Great pass in the middle. No, batted down. Intended for Johnson again. Great Glassby play. and Mosley with a great play in the end zone to stop a certain six. Yeah, the play, it wasn't no schedule, but I guarantee you what. They had great deception. Watch this. Janet on the snap. You look at this great block right at the point of attack by Coop. It goes in. Now, yeah, that's just getting it right time. Let's watch, Let's watch the route. Let's watch the route. Did he sell it? Comes in. The ball's hanging. The ball is hanging. We're in four down territory, but this is third and 15. Miami 2 of 12 on third down. And now we got a timeout called by the Hurricanes. It's their second timeout. They've got one more remaining. As they stop the clock with a minute and four left to go here in the fourth quarter. It's all or nothing here. For Miami. And of course, bowl eligibility is a question. There are nine bowl slots you can occupy for the ACC this year. Florida State, Maryland, Georgia Tech, North Carolina already there. Winner of this game gets there. 
Boston College can get there today. Wake Forest and Duke playing later on. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That Boston College Clemson game I think is a fascinating matchup. You better believe it. Coach Swinney has had two weeks now to get his team back in shape after the departure of Tommy Bowden. It's interesting to see. He compared he compared his team right now to a car on the lot. It's not a clunker. It's a nice car. Nice car. Had a little flat Previous, tire problem. Yeah. Yeah. He'd love to drive this car. He's got a nice rim now. He got some 22s on that one. This week, including 25 to 60 percent off select menswear. Visit skmenswear.com to shop online or find a location near you. Third down, 15, Miami, in Virginia territory. They're at the 26-yard line. Harris to throw, rushes on, gets it off at the last second. That flag. There's a flag. He got it. He got he it. Got it. He got it. LaVon Bird with he the touchdown. And, and there is a flag in the end zone. A 26 yard connection should be for score. The thing I've learned firsthand here watching Ja'Cory Harris is that he just finds a way to win. He can't win 30 straight games in high school. Now, this is an adjustment route. We saw Jared Green do this earlier. Boy, that's running over. Fight through concentration supreme. What a play! He had to jump. He had to jump over a fallen Byron Glassby in the end zone to get that ball. 22 defense. By rule, the penalty is declined. We have a touchdown. Also on the previous play, the previous play is now under review. All right, the play is under review. It's Bird's first catch of the day. It's a booth review. It would be his second touchdown. They're looking at the catch to see if it is a catch. Well, I'll tell you what it was. It's a terrific effort. See, he's fighting through. Let's see. Now, the question that is, angle. And they don't have an angle oh, there. Okay, now here's our high end zone. Now the ball, does the ball fall out of his hands and touch the ground? What an effort Ooh. to get open to the ball. That looks good. That looks good. Watch it again. See, at this point, he doesn't know he's got an obstruction. Keeps his balance. Gets hit again. Makes the catch. That's a touchdown, Kane. That's a look. That's a look at six right there. This is a booth review. It's not a challenge. Yeah. Ron Cherry has been very busy. We've had several reviews today. About five. 115 to date this year in the ACC. You knew this was, was going to happen. When Virginia missed a field goal one, missed another one, didn't make a play, you let them hang around, and this is what happens on any and every level. Here comes Ron Cherry. After review, the play stands as called on the field. We have a touchdown. The DPI is declined by rule. All right, now what now, does Miami do? They're lining up for a field goal. Yeah, but they the holder is Matt Pirelli. Says I don't have anything to lose. I say let's go for two. They're lining up for the point after, actually. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're right. Here comes the kick. They get the certain one. Bosher hasn't missed this season. They ate up seven minutes off the clock. 15 plays from their own five yard line. Harris with seven for 10 and 88 yards, including the final 26 to LeVon Bird. And because their defense allowed them to still be in this, because their offense had done nothing for a whole quarter. And, and the defense gave him a chance. LeVon Bird, a Louisiana native, he's from Booty, Louisiana, true freshman. Booty. Louisiana. I bet this is good. Eat down in Booty, Louisiana. Yeah, he played for a great high school program, Conville High School, which is just west of New Orleans. And a lot of the Saints players live in that area, Destrahan and, and out there in Conville. And uh, he played for a great school there. Kids, come on. What was your favorite New Orleans dish as you when you were a resident of New Orleans? A heavily shrimped pool boy. Pool boy. <laughs> <laughs> Laron Bird with the score. 
We're tied at 17 with 55 seconds left to go. Chase Minifield, Kevin Ogletree. Game breakers are back to get the kick of Matt Bosher. As LaRon Bird has put Miami in a dead even tie here with the Cavaliers. Virginia with three timeouts remaining. That man there is capable of going long way back at you. Short kick, Ogletree at the 18. Ogletree gathers speed, tried to get out on the corner, and is brought down at the 34-yard line, an 18-yard return. Barry Damian is in on the tackle. Give up about what? Huh? About 16 yards. To me, when a field goal can beat you, I guess they're playing in, in 49 seconds, can you get down in that? I, I like to kick him deep, put it on my kickoff coverage team. I, me just gave up a lot of real estate. Today's game brought to you in part by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. First and ten. Back to throw Verica. Verica looking downfield. Has his man caught. It is complete. At the Miami 43-yard line. Stops the clock with 44 seconds left to go. We started the game with a Coke reception. And there in the fourth, he gets them upfield. That was colossal. And look at Wiring. Could he enter the game as a factor? Watch the play again. Good throw. There you see Eugene Monroe down at the bottom of your screen, just balling. Now, I'd want to take a look at that if I'm on the Miami staff. Although it's in, but you just keep this trend alive, keep that offense. I'd get him out of that huddle. 22, Ryering. One for three, made a 23-yarder. Here's Verica to throw. Heads for the flats and stops the clock out of bounds. That's smart. Good pressure by Marcus Forston. You know, America's only a sophomore, although he's a third-year man in terms of eligibility. Lansdowne, Pennsylvania. Ball game in his hands, at least for the next 15 yards. I go back to you. got a pooch kick. You're trying to stop defending against a field goal that you lose on. And you shorten the track. That's right. Uh, explain that to me. Only got 40 seconds left in the game. Second down and 10 for the Cavaliers. He's got three timeouts left. Verica steps up. Calls his own number. Oh, good guy. Oh, he's good. Fumbles the football. It's picked up by Miami. Bruce Johnson comes up with a loose ball. Yeah. Sean Spence knocked it loose, Virginia's first turnover of the day. Now this is a throwback. This is old school Canes. They finally go after it. He almost pulled it off and recovered it himself. This is heads up balling. Knowing what you got to do to avoid losing and try to put yourself in a position to win. Sean Spence stripped that ball loose like he was starting a lawnmower. First and ten. Ja'Cory Harris is back in. Greg Cooper is back of him. First and ten from the Miami 32. Now Miami has only one timeout left. And Virginia calls one of their three remaining. And they only have one because, again, some of those growth growing pains. But you know what Miami is? Highly competitive. Yes, they are. Yes, yeah, highly competitive. And here's what they did last drive. They went 15 plays, 95 yards. Cooper got up some running room. Then a pass to the big fullback on a third down conversion. <laughs> Here comes a big pass the other way to Sam Shields in Jamel and the touchdown pass to LaRon Bird. And the Miami Hurricanes have tied this game. Now their effort to win it. Still have overtime as a possibility here. Heard the 26-yard touchdown reception. Randy Shannon's young team has had to be a work in progress. But when they hit, they hit hard. Yeah. Well, they're going to go deep. And then it comes yeah, into yeah. that guy's bailiwick, Matt Bosher. He nailed a 52-yarder last week against Wake Forest. Great point. Play action for Harris. Back to throw, blitz is on, gets to the corner, lets it fly. Has a man out there, Benjamin complete. Travis yeah. Benjamin 
Man, they blocked the two big tackles. They got a hold of Nate Collins. Now you watch this. We've been waiting on Benjamin all day to make a play. Now he redirects. That is good football since there. He's got that catch. And out of bounds. 30-yard catch. Stops the clock with 21 seconds left to go. Handoff now comes to Cooper, and he pushes ahead to the 33-yard line. Clock moving with 14 seconds. Now a timeout, the final timeout, called, I guess, by Miami here as Appleby makes the tackle. Now the question is, does Randy Shannon think he has one more play before he sends Bosher out there? Now you're really, really putting a lot on a freshman quarterback at that point. He's got to think about that, negotiate, either roll it out, try to get an out route, or get out, get out of bounds. Because when you got a kicker this good, you don't want to negate his opportunity. Bosha, 13 of 14, had a 52-yarder. Of course, Virginia could have been ahead in this ball game. They've had two field goal opportunities. One of 33, that missed wide right, and the other of 47, that missed also wide right. They also had two other opportunities to score as Miami turned the ball over to them on their side of the field in the first two possessions of the second half. They came away with nothing. Now from here, it's a 51 to 52 yard attempt. Randy Shannon's out of timeouts. He's got a long of 52. Now you're at 51 right here. This has got to go to the sidelines and get out of bounds and get his kicker at least five more yards. There's the throw to Benjamin on an incomplete with eight seconds left to go. And so there it is. It's going to be a 51 or 52 yard kick by Matt Bosher to win this ball game for the Miami Hurricanes. And Bosher strides out. There isn't a situation he would rather be in, except maybe a quarterback doing a dive over the yeah, line. Yeah. And they have nothing to lose on this. I mean, they came back into this game, have tied them, have a chance to win it. And at the very least, go to overtime. That's right down the center of the field from 51 yards out. Matt Pirelli is the holder. It's going to come right in your lap. No good. Yeah. One score out. If they hit that one pass. See, that's why five yards here and there would have been money. Because he's long. He's straight. He was straight. It curved back in, but it just didn't have enough. Sure does. You can't ask for more than that in terms of being between the uprights. But that out that they could, I mean, a gimme. You want to say out, although I know it's tough. Not all things are these gimmies, but listen, look at the effort they, they put, put the position Miami put themselves in. I don't think there's a negative on this. No. They no, shouldn't even be in this the way their offense operated in that second half. Four seconds left on the clock. And Virginia's just going to down the football, and we're going to go to overtime. Well, more for your money here this afternoon. We're into overtime as Virginia takes a knee, and now probably the most important part of the game, the coin toss to determine who gets the ball, not first, but last in the first overtime this afternoon. Randy Shannon's team scored the only touchdown of the second half with 21 seconds left to go. To LaRon Bird. Matt Bosher just short. Might have hit the upright or the crossbar as it came down. He gave it a try though. Overtime will begin after a brief timeout. They have a brief timeout at overtime, and now they will move on into the overtime session. Overtime awaits. Who gets the ball first and last when we come back with the score tied at 17? Johnny, look at all this fresh seafood. It's the key to our newest creation, Risotto di Mare. Fresh clams, mussels, shrimp, and scallops. Fresh seafood's the most important part. And making the risotto rich and creamy. And it's these Italian spices that give this a little Carabas kick. I love a kick, Johnny. I know. I like all these combination of flavors that makes our Risotto di Mare an authentic Italian dish. At Carabas, good things happen around our table. It took me years to build good credit, but only a few minutes for someone to steal my identity and ruin it. With Wachovia, dedicated fraud specialists will work with you one-on-one -on -one to reclaim your identity, recoup your losses, and reestablish your financial reputation. 
Thankfully, there are people who care about my name as much as I do. I'm with Wachovia. Rated number one in satisfying customers. Wachovia. The Hyundai Santa Fe has impressive features, like room for seven, available all-wheel drive, and America's best warranty. But the most impressive feature of all? 24 miles per gallon. After all, what good is a crossover utility vehicle if you can't afford to drive it? Right now, get up to $3,500 cash back on a fuel-efficient 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe. See your local Hyundai dealer today for this and other outstanding values. To overtime we go at Scott Stadium in Charlottesville, Virginia. Steve Martin, Doc Walker, Mike Hogwood with you as the two teams are tied at 17. Miami came from behind several times in this ball game to tie it up. Their captains go to midfield. That's Chavez Grant, a junior, and out there with him, Glenn Cook, met by John Phillips, Cedric Pierman. Pierman Call to find him what second. you want. He wants defense. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Hands up, Taylor. Here we go. He called heads. It's Taylor. Virginia. Virginia has won the toss and is elected to go on defense. All right. So for the first overtime, it'll be Virginia getting the ball last. Miami will get first on the 25 yard line. Hardy's is a proud supporter of Virginia football. See, this is this is where when you have Phillips, big strong guy, tight end, pyramid, that I think you know who's built better to win in overtime. Yeah, I would it say Virginia. Virginia. I would say Virginia. I just think because, although you look at the way that Miami is built, they can win this in one play. Yeah, yeah. But now, now we're talking red zone now. Yeah. See, now you got to be more precise. The youth goes against you, I think, in this. It depends it to see who's in. I give Harris, I give Harris a lot of credit. Now, one, he knows how to win. One concern for Al Groh is field goal kick has missed two yeah. this afternoon. One of 47, one of 33. First and 10, Miami at the Virginia 25 in overtime. Blitz is on, picked up. Corner of the end zone, pass, knocked Ooh. away. Boy, that was almost curtains. Byron Glassby. Because that ball was thrown inside. I mean, that that was close. That was to the tight end, Diedrich Epps. It's the first time they've looked at him today. Yeah, boy, look at Center. A great block. Cooper, man, I, I, this dude is a flat-out baller. I mean, they've got two guys in there. I love James when James played Cooper now. He's in my dog pile. Johnson and Shields are split wide out. The deep back is Cooper. And Cooper blasts through the line and gets a first down at the 12-yard line. Gain of 13 on the play. Byron Glassby on the tackle. You can hit people right in the middle, right in the mouth. You can always be a good football team. And both of these teams have that ability because they both of them can run between the tackles. First and ten. Cooper back. Johnson and Shields wide out. Same formation. And we got a penalty. Miami movement early. 65 left tackle. And he's not the regular starter. Just broke to the snap. False start. 70. Offense. That's a five yard penalty. That's three on 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 uh, AJ Trump on Trump. It's the 12th penalty of the day. And let's take a look at Miami when they get in the red zone. 20, 33 possessions, 21 touchdowns. So they're 31 of 33. And that's a look at the O'Reilly Auto Parts red zone. Better prices, better parts every day. First and 15. Ball pushed back to the 18 yard line. Shields and Johnson the wide out. Cooper is set. Here comes Harris on the keeper. And Harris gets back to about the 17 yard line. Be a gain of two on the play. Maybe one. And Nate Collins on the tackle. Nate's been big this afternoon for Virginia. And that young man is a junior out of Port Chester, New York. Shares the nose guard 
position with Nick, Nick Jenkins. Yeah, Nate makes a lot of big plays. Alex Fields, who has just been <laughs> illegal, almost illegal, is how, how good he's been at times today. Second and 14 from the 17. Same personnel. Handoff Cooper. Hole opens up. He's still alive inside the 10. Now he needs the four and a half for a first down. And he'll be down to the nine yard line. It'll be a game of the playoff eight. Byron Glassby on the tackle. Yeah, this, this may end up being run only option for Miami. Well, that's a terrific run, man. He sheds people. I mean, he's outstanding. But can he throw, can they throw it in a tight space? effectively enough to score third and six shields and collier split twins to the right pass for johnson in the end zone he's got the ball but did he come down in bounds i guess the answer is yes yes it is touchdown by aldarius johnson in overtime now watch the touch on this off the move We're going against big hall Behind that is fantastic. Oh, beautiful turns catch. Of a throw. And Could have six. been done better. Yep. And now they're going to have a, a review, I believe. Oh, you definitely would. I'd review it if I'm Al Bro and company. A review. And this will be a booth review of the nine yard touchdown catch by Aldarius Johnson. Yeah, it is as, a booth review. as good as Vic Hall is, it's nearly impossible. If you throw a ball on the backside of a guy on a fade route and give to Corey Harris all the credit of the touch, the touch, the touch is all it is right in as touchdown. Oh, yeah. He left foot hit the pylon after the right foot. It couldn't come down in the end zone. Yeah. There it is. Yep. You could be looking away until that's a touchdown. But the touch pass is that is not easy to do. No. And we're talking about a puppy, a freshman, two freshmen, in crunch on the road. Oh. Touchdown. Touchdown for Miami. And now the important point after. As Bosher comes out of, out to kick from the 10 yard line. Jacory Harris's second touchdown pass of the second half is first to Leron Bird. In the final 30 seconds of regulation, brought about the tie. There's the point after by Boston. And Miami's in front 24 17, and now it'll be Virginia with the football. But see, I think UVA is built for this. They've got the big back, they can pound you, they've got the big tight end. I mean, I, I, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Rascal Flats Bob that head from the album still feels good got us rolling today. They just finished their benefit concert in Nashville to head back on the road closing out the Bob that head tour this weekend in Uncasville Connecticut for the concert tonight and tomorrow and they finish up for the year performing over 70 shows get all your news on the group at www.rascalflats.com next week we'll know tomorrow where we're headed. It's Clemson taking on Florida State. We might be there. We could be in Chapel Hill when Georgia Tech comes calling on the Tar Heels. Or we could follow the Virginia Cavaliers to Wake Forest to take on the Demon Deacons who play Duke this afternoon. Tell you where we're going to be right now. You do? Yeah. Where are we going? Just ask Hogwood. Well, I thought you could tell me. Well, I'd ask him and he would tell us. First and 10 at the 25 for Virginia. They need a touchdown and a point after to keep this game alive. And off now comes to Pierman. Pierman down to the 15. Oh, Stripped to the football. Miami's got it. Checkmate. Game over. LaVon Ponder scraped it loose. Romeo Davis may have covered it up. The Miami Hurricanes have won their fourth straight game. And now they join the crowd at the top of the Coastal Division. Yeah, and they did it their way. Taking the football away, strips, making it happen. And the Cavaliers have no one to blame for this but themselves. And we saw it happening the whole way around.
And standing by with winning coach Randy Shannon is our Mike Hogwood. Oh, uh, Randy, what a game. How about these young puppies of yours? <laughs> Unbelievable. These, these guys came out, and they never quit. They kept fighting and kept trying to press on. And, and every time we put ourselves in bad situations with penalties, they found a way to get it done. It was a tremendous effort with this football team. Your offense was under the gun today. They were down 17-10 at halftime. What did you tell them, and particularly Ja'Cory Harris? Well, basically what we did, we tell them, hey, fellas, the biggest thing in this game is we had seven turnovers in the first half. That's not Miami football. we got to come out, correct the turnovers, and execute the little things, and we did. Four in a row. How big is a game like this in overtime to give confidence to your guys? Tremendous. It's unbelievable. Yeah, no, goodbye. Take care. Okay. Tremendous for us. I mean, I think it's, it, it gets you boosted up because we got an open week coming back and we got some guys a little nicked. And then now we got to come back and rejuvenate ourselves. Randy, go enjoy the win. Thanks. Thank you. Randy Shannon, Steve. Thank you very much, Mike Hogwood. DeCorey Harris with the big play, but uh, conversely, here's Pyramid. Now he's got the first down. Now he's going for more. Ponder strips him. Oh, yeah, but they're going for the ball. I mean, that's hurricane football. And Romeo Davis pounces on it. And that ends the game on the turnover. 24-17. Virginia turned the ball over, Doc, on their last two possessions. Yeah, well, see, you can call them turnovers. I call them takeaways. Because he didn't have no error. He's crushing the ball well. That is a move designed to strip the ball. That's just a great defensive play. The Miami defense comes up with a takeaway, and the Miami Hurricanes come up with a win. 24-17 in overtime. Back after this word from your local station.